Jeff's right in there. Hey, welcome to Off Topic, episode number 130-something. Maybe it's 34. I don't know. Uh, he, you, did you bang your arm or your knee? Bang my knee. Bang your knee. Gavin already it's banged good. his knee. Joining us this week, I'm your host, Michael. We got Jeff. We have special guest, Rahul Coley. You may recognize him from iZombie. It's a show on it's some it's network. Like a lot of people say correct? we look just alike. A lot of people. That's, that's a bad fun. Yeah, did right. Bad fun. That's, that's awful bright. <laughs> uh, <laughs> No, they hate it. Also, Jack's here, and Gavin decided to show up. Hello, He's back. Michael. Uh, uh, two little British boys. Uh, two little this boys. week, we're that's sponsored. That's on new. That's on new channel. Yeah. That's the yeah. channel name. This yeah. week, we're sponsored. Guys, British boys. Sponsored like by six, Gavin. Five. Shut up. Sponsored by Software Advice, Blue Apron, and Quip. All right, I'm really sorry about that. Go ahead, Ben. How tall are you? Six four. Six four. Oh, I like you're tall. tall. You're like. Uh, when's uh, when's three hair and, from Steve Birch. When's hair and makeup? <laughs> you didn't get it already. There really isn't. There's a room <laughs> over there. I mean, I can. We can get you some powder. That's all right. That's yeah. Fine. Can we do his makeup light? Can we, we can do, do it, yeah. Anyone? Gavin, Gavin go get, go get some powder. <laughs> I got this shiner on the plane. Well, because you got this no fight. Up. Did you, you punch someone on a plane? Plushes. Maybe. Plushes. Or it might just be like flight acne, but it you might were also fighting be a your fight own wear, biology. This be like someone took it. your head, like you were on United, and they just took your head and smashed it against the window. Were you a doctor? Hey, Jack, are these your Legos? So, why would you do that? A fan uh, made an Achievement Hunter logo out of Lego and said it's Now you feel bad when it starts with a fan. No, I know. Yeah. I, well, I don't use the word fan. I use a community member. Jack's member. the one that likes that to elevate like himself above Nelson. the community. <laughs> Not me. Now that I have a Tesla, please, I'm so much higher than everyone else. That's how. Yeah, yeah but you right. went to lunch with non-Tesla people. That's true. <laughs> like, why did you even let they them They mixed come? in. Gus, br Gus invited them. Jack so bragged Jack, to me yesterday that all the Tesla owners were going to a and Tesla lunch. And you missed lunch. a really yes. good video for it. Was it worth it? Oh, I stepped out so you guys could play another one without me. We're going to be rotating the cast. What do you eat? Like quinoa and. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's right. nothing, nothing but kale and escargot. That's all it nice. is. Just like sprinkled on. Foam of goat. Mm. God, you so, cooked uh, with a flamethrower. Uh, where was the bag? Uh, so this was sent in by Ryan Buckley. Thank you, Ryan. So I'm going to build this while we're doing it because uh, I'll give you something to do. Yeah, Jack well, just. Gavin talks. Gavin and Rahul something. talk about the World Cup, I guess. I don't know. Whatever you guys do. You agree. Oh, uh, that's stereotypical. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep. How's your tea? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeff, you pointed out the cold brew, which I have been drinking a lot for a long time, just when it's around. Yeah. But I will say, you are correct. Sorry, I, Mike. I'm getting to the, like, I'm old. So I'm wasting you are, away. You are old. I'm wasting away. You I'm, are. I'm drinking coffee now. Like, you I'm are on back a downward like, spiral. Every morning. I need it now. But yesterday brew. morning? Yesterday morning? No, 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 no. Cold brew is just because it's here. No, who I'm, drinks? I'm actually drinking hot that coffee. Make you a he drinks the boy. No, it just makes me tired and old. It drink, he drinks big boy grown up coffee now, too. I, yesterday morning, before we filmed the video, I was thinking, oh, it's coffee time. And Michael said, weed in there. I'm going to go. Anybody want to get a coffee? First time he's ever said that out loud. Yeah, it's probably life. not the first time in my life, but it doesn't come up often. What are you, 30? It used first to be 30, 30 years. Yeah, it used yeah. to it used to just be like my my energy, my vivacious uh soul. It's no, dead. I was bullshit. I sometimes I'm like, sucked no. that out I'm of like, me. you want to go get a coffee and you tell me to shove it up my ass, That's little you. bitch. That's you. Oh, okay. I've also been big on twerp lately. Call me a twerp today in videos. <laughs> little twerp. <laughs> Uh, so to announce it here, might as well mention it. Um, uh, the month of July, we've been doing theme months. Uh, we decided to go way back, pull out a super classic, uh, New Super Mario Brothers U. So we're calling it New Super Mario Brothers J U Lie. It's a real. They're getting really stretchy. J these names. J J U Lie. Really yeah. trying to downplay the Ju Lie, but it's just gonna happen. The people of the, the July Julyish yeah. faith. Yeah, people of the Julyish faith. We're uh, <laughs> picking right back up where we left off, and we're starting with that? part pa five. Part five. five. We so shot. It's gonna be called July Week One Part Five. I don't know. Somewhere well, we it should be. Step one, you did it. It should be. We gotta call it Part Five. Um, and you're being a twerpy little twerp. Part four we filmed in 2013. Part five we filmed in 2018. <laughs> yeah. Part five, six, and seven. I'm amazed five. we had the save file still. Have you we taught did. him uh, plonker? Plonker. I, have I used plonker? Plonked. Yeah. Turn it. Plonked. What is plonker? Turn it. Like, oh, you plonker. Yeah, it's like a knob. Yeah. I've heard it I'm for sure. I'm bell end. Call him a sausage. Bell end's great. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, bell, he, he's all bell about slapping bitch. He's all about breakfast food. Yeah. yeah, English breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, but even just Full also English. like like you know, oh you sausage, you little well, eggy sausage, silly uh, sausage, yeah. silly little sausage, silly yeah. little sausage. We yeah. bacon bits, he blank brings little up a blank, blank. Uh, whatever fits. Oh, that's like a little bacon. Belen's classic. Belen, you, you can't, can't. I don't think that will ever not be. How come every you like utter Belen? How come like any like well-known TV person we know is British? What's up with that? Why don't we have any American friends? 
Oh, on here? Yeah, we got, got you don't count. What is that? What is that? Rahul, that British, we got James Buckley. What is that, that like, British thing it. you say when you drink a lot? I want to taste a man. Please, please put it. Please let me taste you. I think that's it. No, we don't say please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like when you have like a couple of hot drinks, that's the thing you always you always say to me when it's just the two of us. I don't. I never. I don't know. You mean when the door slams on the last person leaving the room? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he says, what he says is, taste me in it. <laughs> say a lot of in it. That's governor. Yeah. In it. Yeah. In it. In it. In it. In Not it. to be confused. In it. In it. In it. <laughs> yeah. Bruv. That really I see. I'm not big on brother. He's fan. not big. I, I, I say brother more than he does. Mm, brav, yeah. Brav, yeah. What was the fam? Yeah, sure. I don't like fam. fam. Fam is Alfredo. Fam, this fam, yeah. that fam, fucking, fam, fam. That's like keeping up with see, the Kardashians. Fam to phrase. me is weird coming from an American. I think just sounds weird to me. Fam is just London from for me. Nah, see, he's got like ethnic fam. Like yo, fam. Yeah, I guess. It's not like a white people thing. <laughs> it's a big Kanye thing. Not white. Kanye Kanye. Famous He's famously known for is not fam being even white. British? I don't, I don't feel like it is. I, don't I, don't think it is I just heard it in from let's, British people. Let's first. get to the bottom. We still everything. One. Jack builds. Minge. I'll just be over here building. Minge, yeah, I will yeah, say yeah. this table you, is you all you steal everything to the table. Because it's all good. I hear from yeah. Gavin is how you guys invent everything and then America the only steals thing it. it America, makes it worse. The only thing America invented was the Price is Right and pizza. It's a good show. It was alright. Well, good pizza. Yeah. We did everything else first. We still have this debate of what. Hey, American pizza. Idol, please. That's our show. Started with. Uh, oh, Pop- Wait, what is the Idol? best yeah, British cartoon of all time? No. Best oh, British cartoon. Danger Mouse? Cartoons. Danger Mouse is a great the cartoon. The DJ? That's what I said when I was a kid. No, the cartoon Danger Mouse. The mouse is the fucking. Thomas and, the, and uh, Gerald? Oh, like, here I come to save the day. Danger, Danger no, Mouse is on the See, way. That's right. I drove yeah. a fucking. No, Danger Mouse yeah. was like a spy dude. Yeah, he had a patch over his eye. He had like a little sidekick. David. Attenborough? Beckham. Who? Who did Only Fools and Horses? Oh, David Jason? Yeah. That was, that was a hard Was he like a fire plug? Right? Was he the he one like that the, he had that fucking race car? Was he yeah. the one that was the pedophile and then only found out after he was, no, that was Jimmy, Jimmy Savile? That was every oh, yeah. other right, British. Jack, got it. I wrote get to it, him, right. you know that. Did, did he fix it for you? He did not. Oh. He I can't wait till I wanted to ride in the Batmobile. I can't wait till Gavin dies and we get to find out he was a pedophile. He sucked my dick though. I just I just didn't get to ride in the Batmobile. <laughs> oh, Peter Foss. Oh, yeah. Um, hey, where's the, where's right, the yeah, clean yeah, glasses? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking uh, drink. Danger yeah. Mouse. Oh, yeah, Danger Mouse. That's like new Danger Mouse. One. That's pretty clean. They wash them. You not familiar? Uh, D- Danger, Danger Mouse. He's the one that wears the big this electronic here. head and then yeah, does EDM. You want. We've got more than this, too. <laughs> oh! That's Steve Aoki. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty good one. It's kind of a light beer, but it's pretty good. I, I, that should be Fireman's in there. Austin, local beer. It's made of real Fireman. Fireman's 4. It's good. It's it's when firemen get wasted and then they piss. Yeah. So they how many extra. how many pieces have you taken so far from me? Me pieces yeah. of none. What I took two and put them back. Yeah. I have two in my hand right I now. I fucked up. No, that's fine, dude. That's oh, a that's better actually, that's a, that's than Gal yeah, could ever dream of. <laughs> you made me look good at that one. And that's also the first one, so that's pretty impressive. Usually, there's a lot of foam. I will say, I'm impressed that you, you went for the big one. one. You just dump it on the well, counter. I, to be fair, I handed it. There's to no sink that's under what there. That's for, right? Yeah, there's no, no sink under there. You just, you <laughs> no, it's there to like catch it. But that's fine. You just alcohol. That's for it. And someone will rinse it, dude. This is okay. I'm just saying to fuck shit up. He can do whatever he wants. We got here this morning, and I didn't. I wasn't sure exactly when Rule was getting here. I knew he wasn't here when I got here. There was no trailer in the parking lot. Oh, oh no, that's like, obviously. That's all right. I've already uh, emailed like my people. <laughs> You'll hear about it later. I will say <laughs> when, the, uh, when the Broken Lizard guys were here, they rolled up. They rolled up hard. They had like they two had all black the SUVs, SUVs right? yeah. Dude, and like no, security and shit. No like, entourage compares to Bob Vila. Oh, right. <laughs> the only people he came with was like 40. I mean, I wasn't there. Well, they were just, they were just keeping him alive, though, right? Well, those well, were the, I mean, he was just out there. That was he just the hit. yogurt people. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't, you know, you didn't let me know. You weren't like, nah. Bob's here, come outside. That's true. I watch the video now, and I think, why didn't you tell me? I could have been standing in the background out of focus. <laughs> right next to Bob. Gavin, did you, did you know who Bob Vila was before you did that video with him? No, I still don't. <laughs> that actually hurts me a little bit, because I, I watch a lot of Bob Vila stuff when Gav. I was a kid. My yeah. dad, the hardware guy, right? Go yeah, home. yeah. He's like a, like a home builder, home improvement guy. Yeah, he was nice. Like Bob a, like a <gasps> but real life. Yeah, not like a TV show. Is all here's what you need to know about Bob Vila. He walks in and he looks. He goes into a house that's half built and he gets on one knee. Uh, after, it takes about thirty minutes. He gets on one knee and then he goes, "Should use three quarter." That's it. I don't know what that means, then, but that's Bob. No, no, no. Then he reaches into his little uh, tool chest, pulls out a go gurt, and then he yeah. <laughs> like, I better gurt out of here. <laughs> Gavin encountered Bob Beal in a Gogurt sponsored. I don't know who he is. He's no. like 140 uh, yeah, he's, year old. I wish I did. I feel well like. Well known uh, American uh, builder. 
A bunch of TV to, shows back in the days, but like our had a show called generation. This Old House. Yeah. Are we still talking would, about? Are we changed? Are we still talking about Peter Files or not? No, no. we don't know. As I mean, we're as, always talking as, about as far Peter as we know, Allegedly, he's not one. He's clear. Um, but yeah. I mean, you were. But Jimmy Savile definitely was. He loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they have to dig up his corpse? Did they, they have to like hide his body? What, was people, he buried with child porn? He was <laughs> <laughs> taken away from him. I think he was buried in like You're a not lovely, to have that. lovely cemetery. In the they they removed. Like, they've done something. I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe they just like pissed on his. They slapped him around a little <laughs> and put him back in. Uh, oh, yeah. What a nasty bastard. Right. Mm. What, what are people gonna say about you after you're dead, Gavin? What, what do they what say about nasty you? Nasty You're alive. <laughs> you know, don't mess with kids though. He films them in it's slow mo though. Yes. <laughs> Good thing this is pre taped Yeah, no kidding. Oh, all right, we're right, we ready to start rolling again. <laughs> what was the last thing we said? In all seriousness, though, Gavin, don't be a pedophile. Okay. No, don't do that, that shit. I don't recommend it. I think it. the last thing we said before we have to cut it was welcome to Off Topic. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Episode 130 something. There you go. We got it. Sometimes they get, tell me what number it is. Oh, yeah, If then. they don't, I can't be bothered. It's been a couple of years already. Years! Since what episode when? is this? We started. Er, yeah. 134. I got it. See, I said 134 or 5. Wow. That's a pretty good guess for him. How many hours is that? I'm a producer. Too many. So, uh, it's like oh. two to two and a half each one. So... It's a lot. That's a lot. Too much. Nobody yeah. watches it. It's fine. It'll be a, it'll you're be like, a you're like uh, Supernatural. <laughs> yeah. Just keep going. Every time people are like... I'll Nobody watches up. it, but you can't stop it. Yeah. Well, that's like, what, not... Bird Notice, right? Like, I think who, the like, difference with Supernatural. Yeah, but Supernatural's been off for like 11 seasons. Yeah, Bird Notice got are like five. It's been it's on like season 13, and they got renewed for like two more. That I, dude's been on the podcast, right? Jensen Eccles. Has he? I think so. They live in Austin. Yeah, the tall dude yeah. lives in Austin. Uh, no, Maybe they both podcast. do. I don't know. I think they yeah. both do, yeah. Not this one. I think the tall dude came on the podcast once. Not this one. No, RT podcast. Please. The real podcast. Who yeah. did? You're yeah. not supposed to Zachary break the piece. Exactly. No, there was, there was, well, Zachary Levi's been on it too. And Jared, Jared came off Jared was here. From Supernatural. He didn't go on the podcast, yeah. but he was here. Oh, no. Okay. Zachary yeah. Levi. That's Chuck. That's I was Chuck like, slash. man, it's Dean from Gilmore Girls. He's also. Look at that. Fucking mark on my hand. Uh, he's uh, uh, the new superhero movie. He's cool. not. Oh, he's Shazam. Uh, Shazam. Shazam. Yeah. Oh, really? Are you gonna be in a superhero movie ever? Yeah. What are you doing, man? Oh, I thought, when are you gonna be Batman? Yeah, come on, man. Dudes, when um, when we can justify Sam. that the only billionaire brown man in Gotham Get to it. also has a uh, Batman has a brown mouth <laughs> 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 what? through the cow, and people go, "Oh, Bruce Wayne." And you go, how do you know? And I go, because your mouth's brown. And, <laughs> and Bruce Wayne's brown. Well, if Batman just had a thick beard, you wouldn't be able to see any skin, would you? It's coming out through the So mouth it just hole. comes out. <laughs> so it's just lips. <laughs> just like, <laughs> um, we'll get around it. I'll speak to Jim Lee or something. I think he's got promoted now. Would you want to do a DC movie or would you want to do a Marvel yeah, movie? Yeah, would you, do you have should a I, I okay. answer this while okay. I'm still on a you're DC easy, contract? You're, you're, <laughs> here we go, you ready? <laughs> Marvel film. All right, all right. <laughs> cut that. There we um, go. Yeah, cut all that shit. No, I, I, I don't really care about those films. I'm more. You're more of a Star Trek guy. I am. <laughs> Battlestar, Star Trek. I, I just have. Even though now I don't care as much about Star Wars as I used to. Um, it was the reason I became an actor. Mm. Oh wow! I still, because that was the reason I became an actor, because I wanted to be in Star Wars. I still want to just fulfill that, even That's on a, cool. even on a like a small scale. What about James Bond film? Well, that always comes up, but you know what? I've learned my lesson from even speaking about playing James Bond when things go up on YouTube. Really? Oh, the comments are fire. Oh. Oof. They're um, lit. <laughs> when, you, when we speak about it, you know what? The, the best thing that ever happened, and I, I can put that whole Bond stuff to, to bed, was I think NBC or someone ran an article about Bond alternatives, and I made the front page of that article. Did you really? And my mum and my dad lost their shit because I don't think at any point they ever thought that this dipshit would ever even be spoken about in the same. Sure. <laughs> as I mean, my dad like Bond films are was something that me and him, we, we would go to the cinema and watch them all the time, and Bank Holiday Mondays, right, you'd get... They were um, on TV all the time. They were on the TV, yeah. yeah. So that was always me and my dad, so I, I think just seeing them even just kind of like, wow. Best Bond film. It. Best Bond film? Yeah. From Russia with Love. It's a good one. I was uh, say Quantum of Solace. <laughs> <laughs> um, Is that what it was Octopussy? called? Octopussy? Die Another Day was the worst one. Die Another Day. 
Um, Casino and Royale. I like Casino well. Royale the best. I think so. Oh, Casino really? Royale, Skyfall. Just as well Casino Royale, Skyfall. I like Connery Skyfall. Thunderbolt the best. Connery yeah. ones. Don't even even really the one where he great. like Damn used um, tape to make his eyes look Asian. That what you only did twice, yeah. <laughs> that was. Why did you know that so quickly? <laughs> It's a you know it's a classic scene. Mm -hmm. We had the little wig. Yeah, it's, he pretended to be Japanese. It didn't age great. No, because it just <laughs> looked like Sean Connery. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Bond I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> I want to reboot that one. Yeah. Like, okay, here's I'm the pitch. white. It's Bond. So I, I'm but white super as a racist, star, and I'm infiltrating a a. a, a a dictator in say India mm -hmm. and I've mm -hmm. brown face you've mm -hmm. gone through some sort of team I've gone through the thing we'll do that it was, yeah I mean that was one of the one of the Pierce Brosnan ones right which one was it where the, the Asian guy became a white guy that was Die Another Day piece of shit Diamonds <laughs> one yeah yeah, yeah you got face. Diamond in his face that was be like, you and Fisher I'm Stevens playing the Indian guy <laughs> <laughs> that was a good sword fight though they had in that movie the fencing thing yeah I hated it why well, it, there was like too close up and it was clingy and the Madonna was there for some reason. I didn't yeah. like it. Yeah, you gotta throw her in the mix. Yeah. I'm sorry, I liked it. They gotta get Bassy back for another theme tune, I think. Do you before, reckon? Before she pegs it. Did Adele? They need Adele back. She's done the best Bond song. It was good. It was she's, good. You watch, she's gonna be big one day. Didn't Linkin Park do one? <laughs> no. Are you thinking Mission Impossible? You're thinking of Transformers. Jack. You're thinking about. No, that was Mission Impossible, right? They did a Mission Impossible one? Or was that Limp Bizkit? They definitely did Transformers. Casino Royale. Yeah. And then, a li like Limp Biscuit or like Linkin Park did a song for like Mission Impossible or Bond. Limp Biscuit did cool. Mission Impossible 2. That, that Take might a be look what around. I'm thinking. Yeah, and Linkin Park did Transformers 1. Yeah. What I've done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that was I, I may have had it on my iPod back in the day. Back in the day. <laughs> step 11. That was you pulling wow. up to the car. Step, step 11. <laughs> what I How many steps are there in that? Puzzle thing. I don't there, know. Captain Entertainment. I'll say Quite this a few. is. Uh, One that is up to me. There's four other of you. I'm just doing something. Yeah, I'm just that. happy you know, you're sure going to do it. Um, uh, Rahul, this is this is a good connection with your with your Star Wars ness. We've got a couple of Star Wars fans here, big ones. Okay. Like Rooster Teeth, particularly uh, as I find a lot of shit about Star Wars that I've never known mm -hmm. or care about. Mm -hmm. uh, as somebody uh, that works in Achievement Hunter, Andy, huge Star Wars fan. His I've never met anyone before that loves this fucking character so much. His cat is named Kitster. I know you're also a big Kitster fan. Kitster so was all right. Yeah, so Kitster he's the, was he's the friend of Anakin. Yeah, for the pod and I'm, and I'm shit. fairly sure he might be. He's one of two Indian people in the Star Wars. So you're universe. really banking on like. So the I was movie. yeah. So when they were doing spinoffs, I was like, we got to tell the story about Kitster. It's, <laughs> it's so wizard. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's my in. Oh, no, no, now, whole. so now Riz Ahmed was in uh, Rogue One. Yeah, your mm -hmm. your Star Wars hubs took a took a bit of a hit this week when they announced they're fucking putting all of the story mode Star that Wars sucks. stuff. Which, on which whole makes definite it, it it, it kind of sucks because why don't they just make a better one? I don't feel like they gave Solo. Now I'm not. I hear Solo was Solo was really good. Solo was a very good. Solo was a very good. Look at look at that fucker. Look, I can do that. <laughs> I can see Jack, you right do that. Do 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 Greedo. Right, ready? Like, and look, ready. He's nailing Man. it. <laughs> I don't know which one. Kitster, yeah. a Star Kitster Wars was story. The brown kid. That, that was a. Uh, was some real acting there. That, that was, was impressive. I think we've got chills. Now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think it was when, like when we do stuff in Achievement Hunter, you're like, yeah, whatever. And then you see a real actor coming in, and you're like, holy fuck! I was transported. <laughs> <laughs> I was on Tatooine. For I will. A second I will be billing you for that. After. Right. Yeah, fair enough. Oh. Send it to life. No, but like it felt with with Solo. And I thought Solo was actually just a good fun ride. It was. But Lucasfilm oh, are obviously they're putting on hold shit. Boba. <laughs> they're putting on hold Obi-Wan. Obi -Wan. Yeah. And it feels like actually all the missteps for Solo were purely Lucasfilm's fault. Releasing it in May, weeks like after Avengers, um, not giving enough breathing space between Last Jedi and and so I think if Solo had come out in December, but apparently I think it's gonna conflict with Mary Poppins too. You don't want to oh boy! Yeah, so is Lin Manuel Gavin. Thanks, Fucking Lin Manuel Miranda again ruins everything. <laughs> How's that puzzle doing, Jack? Hot <laughs> <laughs> take on Lin Manuel. But for but, but like it, they, and then also like it was during that journey. I think fans didn't really trust this movie because you know they fired the two directors, so we knew that there were issues. Who were the directors? They did uh, Twenty One Jump Street. Is that right? Yeah. That yeah. So it feels like they're kind of going, you know, this film didn't necessarily do very well, and now we're putting all of them on hold. And it's kind of like, actually, you just 
I think you fucked it. Yeah. Also, like, it was good. I liked it a lot. I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was, it was better than fucking I liked Last than, Jedi. I liked it better than Rogue One. I like Last Jedi. I know people should. I it steady I on it. there, mate. See, yeah, the thing about no, Rogue, Rogue One is, is fine. Easy, the Rogue One is, is great at the end, but yeah. the first hour is boring. But you get, uh, you get. It's not boring. It wasn't great, but it was, I will it was say, worth watching. Rogue One, uh, Forrest Whitaker. You get Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. His character what, uh, Forrest Whitaker was so much. Fuck. The, uh, the, only cool about, <laughs> yeah. the, the only cool thing about the only cool thing about Forrest Whitaker's character is the fact that he has the same like breathing well, apparatus that, that Darth it's... Vader does, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It's like, oh, it's the same kind of. The best part about Forrest Whitaker was when he died. <laughs> I way. love Forrest Whitaker. My yeah. voice. He, he also he died because he just didn't feel like living. That's, yeah. a, that's the danger, right? Like <laughs> you should, in in all art, I think working within con restrictions, being confined, mm -hmm. is actually a good thing for artists. Like I am, I don't get an overall say on what I get to do at work. Rob Thomas does, yeah. and and we're still bound Nightmare, by that guy. the right. <laughs> <Is that laughs> but we're still. Awful? We're still restricted by the network, and and there are a lot of because if you let us have free like reign, we'll fuck it up because sure. we bring in our own. And I think when you get to a certain point, especially as an actor, where Forrest Whitaker says, "I'm going to do a Star Wars movie," <coughs> and then they go, "Oh, we got Forrest Whitaker," and then he comes and he's like, "The world is coming undone," and people are like, <laughs> "Oh, <laughs> like, oh but it's Forrest Whitaker." Oh, I'm, Forrest Whitaker I'm not going to say shit. Like, I'm not, yeah, yeah. Uh, great. But I think let's that... get one for safety. <laughs> right. Let's get a different character I know, I know, for safety. I know what you're saying because, like, for instance, <coughs> I uh, surround myself with these guys, uh, so I ha I can only perform to their ability. So, so I'm like, I, 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 I created a, a, a ceiling. Mm. The ceiling is them, yeah. and I just yeah, I'm constrained by their talent. That's what I do on iZombie. Yeah, fair enough. You really got us through some videos today, though. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Fucking Christ. But yeah, I do. I do think it's important. Like some of the best albums that come out from from musicians are when they aren't given free reign, when they do have pressures and they yeah. try their best to express themselves with, co like, despite conflict. You know, the, wor the worst thing that can happen to a creator is that they get big enough that there's nobody in their world that says no. George to Lucas prequels. <laughs> yeah, the prequels is an exact like Rick yeah. McCollum sitting there. I remember like. <laughs> There's Everyone, the those, that, that behind the scenes when they fucking play the first cut of the Phantom Menace. Oh, yeah. and I may have gone, too far. Too, I may far. Have gone too far and in every, places. Yeah, everyone looks like Jimmy Savile said, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> and like, Rick McCollum's the only one who'll come out and be like, well, George, I thought it was great. You know, like, and you're like, no, come on, man. You don't need yes, man. Yeah, but how about that? The Lucas proposed seven through nine. You the film that? about the midi chlorians. Yeah, about the wills. Right. Maybe it will take midi chlorians even further. I still believe. Oh, this is a hot it's gonna take. It's going to hurt. Yeah. Uh -oh. Jack's yeah, going to drop the go. Lego. No, this is where the audience is going to turn on you right yep. here. You ready? I'll take a. I'll take a. JJ uh, Abrams watching right now. He's like, oh, he, he almost there, had that role. He takes a beating. That's ready? What he does. I would take a bad George Lucas film over an average Disney film. George, for me, he's still the vision, like he's still the storyteller of those mm. movies. Well, and kiss and that roll goodbye. That's... So you you think <laughs> Last Jedi was worse than like Attack of the Clones? No, I think they're on par. Wow. No, the difference is is that like I, I, I for me At least it, at least Last Jedi was fun to look at. It wasn't like wishy washy. And it was competent. Shite. Oh, you didn't <laughs> like uh when Anakin was on Naboo riding on them cows? I thought that was pretty. <laughs> Pretty what? It was, just, it was cinematically pretty. He was roll. They were rolling around in the grass. Yeah, I was yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. And like the, the 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 Naboo thing where he's like, I don't like sand. Like I liked all of that. It was like, pretty, oh, but it was <laughs> shit. It was it wasn't Star Wars. And like and the Last Jedi for me, yeah. I mean, it was shot well. And it, I, I but I I just didn't care for anything that happened from the minute the logo disappeared until the credits. Yeah. And I felt the same about Phantom Menace and, and Attack of the Clones. And it, although I was younger when I saw those films, but I people don't people are openly will 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 call out those two particular prequel films as bad movies. And I think The Last Jedi belongs with that in that group. When did you Man. know? Force. Uh, what, what was the first one called? Uh, Force Awakens. No, Attack of the Clones. Was that? No, oh, Phantom Menace. Yeah. When did you know we were in trouble in Phantom Menace? Uh, I, I remember very distinctly. After camping out for two days with six Gus. years after I saw it. Oh, really? I was yeah, eleven. You're an old bitch. I was so you in knew my watching it. Yeah. It was not good. No, it was the moment that they swim down into Jar Jar's 
people's gun yeah, gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like that muddy fight. It was just boss the CGI Max. was terrible. Yeah, there. Boss Mass was down there. Uh-huh. When they're swimming up, I, that's, when, the that's the moment when I looked at Gus and I was like, this isn't what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> like, we shouldn't have asked for this. I, I didn't know. Jar does that like, sweet. He jumps in the air and does like a flip and then goes in the water. 1999, I was. Yeah. How old was I? Oh, oh fuck. 1985. I was 14, yeah, 13, I was 14. 12. I was in sixth grade. When right. So, so when I saw it. I think I walked away. I sat through the trade negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> I sat through Chancellor Valora. Interesting start. Getting okay. a, a, a oh. vote of no confidence. Sure. I watched an hour of politics to see Senator Palpatine get voted in. Um, and then, But I, I left going, did you fucking see Darth Maul's double-sided uh-huh. lightsaber? I, I might. I yeah, I think I went home and... It never been if done If they hadn't ruined that in the trailer, that would have been the most impactful moment in the history of cinema. The second side coming out? Yeah, the sure. second side coming out. But it was in the fucking trailer. Like, why do they have to do that? We oh, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler warning. Much. Spoiler yeah. warning. I know these fuckers, these fuckers, I know that people on the internet... It's our community. Are, these community are, fuckers. I meant that in a, in a Star Wars yeah, 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 fans yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Of course. Um, no matter when they Obviously. watch the movies, either if it's 1977 or if it's 2018, a spoiler is only relative to that person. Because mm. when we try and talk about the show and we say something that happened in the pilot, people will be like, yo... I haven't seen it yet. Spoiler warning. You get two weeks. We give two weeks. We get two, two weeks. weeks. Two, two, weeks. two weeks. So you could talk about solo spoilers. Sure. He hasn't even seen it. I haven't He's seen it. He's victim to our But I, 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 it's my fault I haven't seen solo yet. Therefore, why would I, why would I, why, why, why would my failures as a film fan. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, in, Alfredo upon you guys. already told you about the like cameo. So yeah, and I already heard that from a friend. Right behind the back of your head. Doesn't matter. Doesn't Jeff matter. hasn't seen it and he was like, hey, what'd you guys think about Darth Maul? Jeff was like, <laughs> so how do you get his legs back on? It's robot robot legs. Legs. Clone Wars. Oh, he's got legs. Did robot you watch the Clone Wars? Wars? Yeah. I, I haven't heard it's good though. I didn't I watch it, but I, I know of it. First he had spider legs, then he got normal legs, yeah, right? Yeah. Apparently he didn't even have the makeup on that time. What do you mean? What? It was just CGI on. Just motion capture. what he looks like. It was though. good. Was it? it good. Good. That's Ray Park too, is the actual guy. Same bloke. Yeah. Wait, 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 so Ray Park wasn't in Toad from X-Men? No, he just was- That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't uh, Peter Serafinowicz. No, it was yeah, uh, Sam, Sam, Wh- Wh- Sam, Wh- 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 Unleashed. He did, and he did the voice of Darth Maul in the Clone Wars. Oh, okay. But Peter Serafinowicz was the original Phantom really? Menace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. At last we reveal ourselves to the Jedi. You know, he's actually uh, a comedian? Yes. Okay. I saw his, okay. he does, he does these great, like, <laughs> yeah. Kevin, Kevin Spacey impressions and stuff. Oh, like yeah, 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 yeah. And he read Kevin Spacey impressions was, are pretty hot right now. It was, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with how well, uh, how poorly uh, Solo performed because, like, Rogue One, I liked it, but I, just, I left the theater and went, okay. I don't need another one. I mean, you know, it ends at the beginning of episode four. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Solo, I was like, that beta bit was so weird. Nothing, was nothing amazing. going to Solo. Didn't give a shit about it. Either way, I was like, I'll see it. I'm a fan of Star Wars. Really enjoyed it. And then, and then with like the Darth Maul thing, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Where are they going with that? Oh, nowhere. Okay, Did never his mind. penis get cut off when he got chopped in off? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. for yeah. sure. I it thought was like about gut. that. It was like gut. <laughs> I, re- I rewatched the cut uh-huh. to see how high it was. <laughs> yeah. And it's really high. I think he might have even lost his stomach. Bloody oh, hell. Oh, it was like nips level? <laughs> it, was, it was about here. Oh, yeah. I so think. It's like maybe half it? of his but, belly button. Yeah. It's so, weird. You don't see him. You sort of see it sliced. He then just like, falls apart. Yeah. He falls as one and then separates as he falls. I think there's actually a censorship rule where if someone gets a limb or their body cut off in half, you can't see it separate, but you can see it already apart in a different cut. Uh, like, then explain the first scene in Kingsman. Well, that wasn't a PG-13, was it? I don't know. Yeah, was no, it? Was not. Like a dead in Wolverine. You didn't oh, wait, just no. by saying it was a PG thirteen. What about the Lord? What about you the Lord said of the Rings? There was a censorship thing. The Lord of the Rings, the amount of limbs, and you see them cut yeah, off. Right. I, mean, I just they remember bend, in, a, bend in Deadpool. Rules. What about Benji? Not in Deadpool. In Wolver- Wolverine Origin, Dead, Deadpool's head comes off. You see it like, but it doesn't separate until they cut away and his head's rolls. And away. then it rolls. It's the same sort of thing. It's like they always do that. This is also fun fact. Uh, with Darth Maul, if you didn't watch, um, I think it was in Rebels. Oh, spoiler! So they back. His head this came is off. a spoiler for Rebels. So you didn't watch, you didn't watch Rebels? I I'm, I just need to watch the last season. That's probably in the last. But season. you said this is a two week rule, and if I call uh, uh, fanboys saying, fuckers, uh, I, I also I, have here, to be held to the same standard. So you can spoil it for me. I will own that. I'll, in, I'll reenact it if you watch mm. the video. So like uh, Darth Maul episode one, he's like, mm. and then in Rebels he goes, Oof. yep. They get both sides. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, yeah. I was saving that, Jack. 
Well, that's... They've ruined it. <laughs> Michael, Michael's ruined it for you. I'm sorry. That's why I was doing it to so begin. It's it hot slice. as fuck in here right now. It really is. Is. Why is this... I'm, I'm like... I'm I've been hot all day. Right I've been throwing moon balls all day. I'm really hot. Okay. I didn't really know good. Austin... It's warm. It was warm. Yeah. I know I'm in Texas, summer. but yeah. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, I literally thought... Sometimes it's like 42 degrees. That's... 42? Yeah, I've, I've that's way that. too cold. It's never that cold. That's true. So, it's at least 100 degrees every yeah. day. Maybe, uh, maybe 40. It's 90 right now. Wait, what's, that, what's 100? Right? When they say 100, what do they mean? He doesn't 39. Know. 38, 39. Wow. We had 72 days over 39 one year. That was like, the year, I moved, was the year I moved here. It's no, the it humidity. was like seven years ago. I think the I world here. record for hottest temperature ever recorded in England is like 38. When was that? It, ever. I don't know. It was like the hottest history of the summer the year I moved here. 2011. Bloody hell. I was just in England. It... <laughs> They're long days right now. The, the, Today's the longest I, day of the year. I live in the countryside. You said there. bloody hell, and I haven't heard that. And that wasn't a script yeah, in about four years. Oh, yeah, I'm <laughs> fucking sick of it. <laughs> See, my, all I my, hear. my English lingo dates up to 2012 when I left the country. <laughs> and I'm just still using, like, some old crap. He goes back every now and then gets, like, one new. Yeah, I fly home, I'm like, Dan, fill me in on what, yeah. what I've missed. What's well, new? What are the kids yeah, saying? Yeah, the sun comes what up at, like, 4.45 in the morning and sets at, like... Ten. You mean uh, 22, 22, 2200 hours. hours. We do, we do military time. No, back, I right? know. Oh, oh yeah, well, I'm aware. Yeah, do you guys do military time in England? Yeah. What's your phone right now? Is it set to a 24 hour clock? Call them out. Call them out if it's not. It's 1523. Oh, oh, oh. great. <laughs> <laughs> it's 323. <laughs> the reason this is a two hour show, right? It's, it's whatever. whatever. <laughs> the reason. <laughs> The it's Americans as long as don't. I wonder what the talking. shortest one we've ever done is. It's under two hours. Mm. How are the instructions? Were you in it? Because these aren't good. Lego. Lego, <laughs> Lego yeah, this, this Lego. is an yeah, unofficial one. Down. It's good. It's good. Down. A fan sent this in, so it looks pretty. We cool. started later. What are you up to? Us. Uh, I've got Hunter. How do they make oh, this? I'm working on a cheat. A lot of computers. Heart and dedication and commitment. Is that ink? I'm not criticizing. Yeah. Here we go. Should that be aligned? I feel like you've done that wrong. No, no, that's right. It's an in. It's, oh, it's not, an N. It's not cheap, but the huh, fuck do you think it was? I thought, I, honestly, <laughs> I I've had, well. that's how drunk that made me. <laughs> I, re, I thought it was half. I thought it was another H. <laughs> Hunter. Today I learned that Hunter. all this time we all thought our name was Achieva Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Like you're, just, like you're out of breath trying to say the name. <laughs> so this is uh, pretty interesting. We mentioned it before, but story about how we actually met Rahul and started like grinder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, just you know fate. Threw us together. I met him at a. I ran into him at a airport, and because he asked me to install Grinder. Now, <laughs> now he was like, "You have to be on." Grindr. Excuse me, sir. I'm telling you. you. you look like uh, can you someone. get verified on Grinder? <laughs> yeah. Can you? Can you? Really? Can you go for straight dates on Grinder? Probably. You, you want to fucking take it out of here? How's that work? Well, if, if you're just like, I need more guy friends. Can you? Like, <laughs> and I want to know if they're two feet away. <laughs> I want to be mate. I yeah. want friends within this block. That yeah. I'm standing on right now. And, and can you just be up front and be like, I'm really straight. I just. I need an immediate <laughs> friend. Yeah. I actually, I actually nice. went on Grinder. I'm straight. Yeah. But I did, I did, I, I, no oh, a buddy of mine created a profile when we, uh, I think when we first learned that you can find out within your area. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we were at my house in Wembley, and he created a profile, and we wanted to see like how accurate the people were. What around. was bumping? Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, there was a good few choices Booties that lived on my road down your street. Mm. I think yeah. didn't Conan O'Brien do a, an episode where they got on Grinder and like found some guy and like shot a video with him? Like they like no uh, no no. So they're like hey, and the guy was like <laughs> Conan, Conan, Conan O'Brien. He's like yeah, this must be a fake account. Witness like actually Conan O'Brien. He was like uh, what's going on? And they filmed it. So you know. That's what so you if you want to cue that up, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of people, especially uh, Rooster Teeth fans, may be familiar with you uh, with Funhouse. Yes. Done a fair amount uh, of Funhouse videos. Rahul, the Funhouse uh, associate. I think uh, like uh, is it kind of Greg Miller calls is. Term no, name Funhouse okay. Fuck. <laughs> yes. Which is yes. what I get uh -huh. sent on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of yeah, funny yeah, in Funhouse, Funhouse really. Fun. Those guys love each um, other. Yeah. I say to this if you're a fan of Funhouse and Rahul, you're welcome. Also, why? Because that was. I mean, I get Rahul. Me and Jeff. Oh, why? Yeah, fans? No, yeah. I don't know. So I know the Funhouse version of this story. What's the Funhouse version? You tell the Funhouse version first. The, the, so I was a big fan of their old channel. Inside Gaming. Inside, Inside Gaming. Gaming. And, oh, the um, good stuff they did. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Before yeah, they yeah. went when, to shit. Before they sold out. Back when they had Joel. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> Joel at E3. 
But um, so I, that was my thing. I would watch their videos every, that was the first YouTube kind of channel I actually subscribed to. It was new to me, that whole mm -hmm. idea of whatever. Um, and then when iZombie got picked up, I was at Comic Con and they had snuck into the Warner Brothers party. And I saw them there and I walked up to them and I was like, hi, um, <laughs> you're Adam Kovic and Bruce Green and I love your shit and all. And, and, and so, so that's how I met them. And then I think they followed me on Twitter. Now, what Adam tells me is, is that you guys went on my profile, saw that I followed them and they followed me or something like that. And that's realized fairly that. fairly accurate. For, Probably, for yeah. a bunch of Nazi liars, that's pretty accurate, yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. It's the worst kind uh, of liars. <laughs> Jeff and I, uh, big uh, uh, Rob Thomas fan, yeah. Monica Mars. Party Down, Santana, yeah, 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 yeah. Matchbox Twenty, uh -huh. mm, Matchbox yeah. Twenty, love it. Uh, I love love, love just working Sunny, Sinbad, and Sunny, Sinbad. And Sunny yeah. yeah, yeah, it was good. Um, uh, so like we were all for iZombie Zombie as mm -hmm. soon as it came out. So we started watching it at your house, and we were just having, <laughs> and it had to be first season, couple episodes in. There was an episode where you and uh, Robert Buckley are playing video games. Yeah. In some episode. Yeah. And as we are losers that play video games all day, I'm always interested, like... Well, it looked like you guys, you guys looked like you were playing video games. Mm -hmm. Like, I one of our best... I think all of our biggest pet peeves is when people play video games in movies and television shows and they got a the controller upside down yeah, or yeah, backwards yeah. or they're... Or it was a cable. Gears of War it. is up on the screen and they got a fucking, like a, like a Nintendo controller, whatever <laughs> it is, Joy-Con, you know, and you're like... Ugh. But you guys pulled it off and Michael and I were like, I bet... I bet they actually play games. Actually, so while we do while we do play games, like I do. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, um, so what happened with the, that whole Diablo thing was, was I got a call from our uh, one of our co-creators, Diane, and she said, Major and Ravi need to bond over mm. something. And she was thinking sports. Or da, 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 and she was like, she thought, why not? I'll just ask him for real. Like, what's going on? Yeah. And weirdly, I had just got, uh, it was when Diablo 3 was now on consoles. So I think it had just come out for PS4. And we were actually playing that. And I was like, well, we're playing a game called Diablo. And then she was off. So she went to Blizzard and got the rights and did her research. And that was our term. That's how we first bonded. The thing is, we've never actually played a video game for real on set. And what angers me, <laughs> because you just can't. It just, it doesn't produce enough light. The TV needs to glow. Yeah. There's a million reasons why you're not really going to play. <laughs> um, we don't play in our office. That's, yeah. People still don't know that. We oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. I related to it. It's all CGI. <laughs> well, can you imagine it's just how light difficult boxes. that would be to actually play video games and record it? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Impossible. It's a nightmare for like for, for, for many reasons. And The writers would have a fucking field day with that. The, the tough thing as well <laughs> is, is that I've done takes where I've done... So it is it is literally a blank TV with a light in front of it mm -hmm. and a controller Probably that's disconnected and you're just sitting there. And... I've done takes where I play for real in the, well, what I think is real, mm -hmm. which is barely moving because that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's so, like huh? the occasional very subtle subtle is. trigger. You don't whip your arms around. Guess what? Guess what the note is. You're not doing enough. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what, unfortunately. So that's why I feel bad for other actors who get kind of called out on that because Could you, you are. But as a gamer, couldn't you be like, trust me on this? No, because even as a Brit, I've had to we'll fight them. You. Do you know what I had to fight them over? The pronunciation of snooker. Were they saying snooker? Snooker. Yes. And snooker. I had to go, I'm so sorry, I'm not saying just snooker. Just show them Todd Margaret. It's yeah, just, snooker! Just, yeah, yeah, just call up Steve Margaret. Davis and be like, here. <laughs> <laughs> but I, honestly, that's, the only, that's one of the biggest times I kicked off on iZombie was everyone was like, it's snooker. And I, it was so the only the time I was, was like... Say snooker. Snooker. And I went snooker. And there was this big discussion and it was the only time I was like, I, I'm not doing it. <laughs> they, will, they will take away my passport. That, that was my you're like, you're like after the show's saying... over, I still have to be British. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can't. I can't go back there. So with the gamer thing as well, it's the sort of thing where it's like trying to find a middle ground of mm. because for other people, like for you guys, you're watching and go, this fucker, you don't, yeah. you don't yeah, do yeah, that no, while I you're playing you. and tongues are out and you're <laughs> twisting. And well, stuff. Jeff does certainly that not sometimes. me. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff might play like that, but that's... but but that's why I do feel bad for actors who 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 I know start with the real with the truth and then it's heightened. For um, Hollywood bullshit. For everyone else, right? Yeah. Um, so that's what that was. But, but just the fact that you you internally struggled, like I think that reads through. It did. Where most people, when they're like pretending like you're playing video games, are like I don't know what it that's like. It started a sure, conversation. Whatever, whatever you tell me. Yeah. So I, I in the middle of the episode, this is early on, a couple episodes into the show. Yeah. Uh, I just googled like your name and Twitter. Yeah. Found your Twitter, pulled it up. Literally, like three tweets from the top was something about Funhouse. And I look at Jeff, I'm like, oh, we're in. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they work here. So I literally just tweeted Rahul. I'm like, oh hey, we're you know we're fans of the show, and yeah. you know I see you're a fan of Funhouse. We we own them. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. ours. Yeah, hey, they're a, they're the they're a, much better. They're than a, they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're like the JV version of us. So yeah. you would love us. So so we just use Funhouse that's and Kovic particularly. And that's as the exact same term Kovic uses, which is they used us. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. To get you in a video by going come uh -huh. to the Funhouse office, uh -huh. so yeah. you can meet. We would oh, the James we Willems. Would never visit. <laughs> I don't ever. Vincent might be there but it Benson. was you were in LA so oh, it was yeah. like let's just go to fun out we'll suck it up you and I flew to LA to meet Rahul and then Kovic warmed and we did left the dead video. we did we did yeah, left for dead, we we did left left for dead. dead. And then set you off on your Funhouse you mentorship did. for you the did. next you four hooked, years. You, you hooked us up. Never once have you come to Austin until now. <laughs> where we're like, we should get him. Here. Yeah, wait. We a should minute. follow up on that. So are you here just for this? Yes. For us? Well, yes. he was at, he was actually oh. here uh, to go to McDonald's with me. Right. Oh, yeah, you're gonna do that. yeah. Yeah. We'll do it. You do that tomorrow. Was, uh, we when should we do it. Yeah. We should do it tomorrow. So what lunch. was it that McDonald's sent? So we are were you, just having a conversation. Are you filming it? Yeah. We'll probably just do like a social media video. Do you? Like, I, I, can we speak to McDonald's and get like candles? And can we get like a tablecloth? I mean, we can ask. We can bring all that shit. We can ask can that they. I, I think instead of asking them, up. can they do it? Call up Chef Mike. Chef Mike. What we do? Well, that's his business card. It's a fucking quarter pound. The Head chef at McDonald's. He's one of like I followed him. I followed him. Yeah, he's the like, coolest business get, card you've ever seen. Gold I keep it just because of how awesome what it is. we. I, I want it. What we can do. I don't think. Cool I don't think we can walk into McDonald's and have them hook, have them hook us up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I'm trying he to get just, it out. He stifled a vomit. Or yeah, were you throw up? That was way worse. You didn't like sweet D on stage. I didn't stifle it. I did. I did throw up and I moved past. <laughs> um, I don't think they'll give us anything, uh -oh. but, but I bet we can walk in and ask them not to throw us out. I can say, hey, we've got some candles, we have some uh, filming equipment, we're gonna go in the corner, can you not call the authorities and throw us out? And oh, maybe God. they'll let that slide. Oh. I feel um, like I didn't listen to anything you said after that happened. It's fine, it's fine. Do you um, think they were cool? Do you think... <laughs> I get nervous talking about McDonald's. Okay, I like them a lot. I hope I, I don't want to. Just don't want to piss them off. I don't. I don't want to piss them off. I don't want them. They gave us a twenty-five dollar gift card. Twenty-five dollars. That's a everything lot. on their menu. Actually, it's a lot of yeah. drugs. For two people. For two people. We're gonna go to town. Based purely oh, on. I'm gonna be shitting for Rahul and I <laughs> talking about. Usually the mo is he tweets about getting a favor. Or some sort of disgusting fast food delivery at midnight or later. I just and think he feels that bad about it. I just I think that there's. Him. Well, I don't feel bad about eating McDonald's. Uh huh. But it's there is one on every block. Mm -hmm. You just get in your car and you can go. But I think what's disgusting is that I'm having it Postmate. Yeah, like, you are. I'm having yeah. so, a, a delivery oh, service bring it house. to me, and that's disgusting. It's, but. It's at a level where every time I see him talking about this on Twitter, where he's like, I can't believe I've done it again. They delivered it right to me. I'm in the middle of eating something. Like, I see his tweet. <laughs> there was one day he literally talked about, like, getting a Big Mac, and I was like, dude, I just had two spicy chicken sandwiches and 20 nuggets from Wendy's. You're good. <laughs> so McDonald's chimed in. I wonder and if they were like, we want to fuel one of these uh, uh, lunches one on of us. These late benders. So they sent me, they sent me a card with they with, had their own with a wax, wax seal. Yeah, it had a McDonald's wax seal oh on God. it. And I was like, oh, I mean, we got to make this Do happen. Do you think if you linked everything up to like Postmates or whatever to Alexa, you could just say Alexa I McDonald's? Bet you could. Yeah, I bet you show could. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah, you, you could save your order. Like if that, that would be the scummiest, laziest thing you do. Alexa, now you no. can, so that's how I can make it worse. Yeah, yeah. No, Alexa, get, get me twenty nugs. I think you should, yeah, Alexa nugs, and then it would just show up. With <laughs> you do a step amazing. after that. You have the person bring it, feed it to you. That's that. They don't uh, do that. I'm not yet. <laughs> no, I reckon they would. That's what I'm just saying. That's oh, when you're in your bed, and they go, an extra fiber you're, you're like, the keys, it's in a hide rock out front, just come find me in my bedroom. <laughs> Would they, they push come your in, chin they up They put it down? in your mouth, they push your chin, and they rub your throat, and they rub it down <laughs> your throat, and you're just like, oh, yeah. Yeah, they're like, so you're in hospital. So I'm, like, I'm just fucking do lazy. Do you think that if we American. ask them politely tomorrow at McDonald's, they do it for us? <laughs> <laughs> and see. They might. Hey, by the way. I te I texted you a little while ago. I wanted to make a joke, but I can't make it. Oh, so I, but I texted it to you. But I mean, that's awful. Hey, I should do this. 
Bad read. This episode of Off Topic is... Grindr stuff. Please. <laughs> Grinder is... We should get a Grinder sponsorship. <laughs> just just to see, like, what's Damn. out there. Uh, but not today. This episode of Off Topic is brought to you by Software Advice. It's good, man. You know those times when you have to call someone for advice, whether it be your mom for advice on parenting, your plumber, when your toilet blows up, there's always someone out there you can call because when you're dealing with a real head scratcher, having your go-to person on call is a no-brainer. When it comes to picking the right software for your business, Software Advice has done all the research for you. Their team of advisors can point you in the right direction. You can start working more effectively right away, and it's absolutely free. Just go to softwareadvice.com slash offtopic and answer a few short questions about your business. You'll be connected with an advisor to discuss the best software options for your needs. Talking to an advisor takes just 10 minutes or less. These experts are ready to be your on-call go-to team to help you figure out business software in minutes for free. Why wouldn't you start here? End the software struggle today. Go to softwareadvice.com slash off topic to get started. That's softwareadvice.com slash off topic to connect with an advisor for free. Softwareadvice.com slash off topic. Free? That seems like too good to be true. It's uh That's a crazy deal. It is free. That's crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. You what need a problem. Some advice, go go to software. So if I'm like a I'm a guy, I'm like John Business is my mm -hmm. name, and I've got a business mm -hmm. and I need some software for my business. Okay. Like software a variety, advice. a myriad of software yeah, advice. Because yeah, yeah, I'm software. overwhelmed. I got like you, you gotta all the you, you, you got a pile of software over there. It says it's good. I don't know nothing about that stuff. And over here I got another pile of software. You go to software advice, <sighs> sift through that pile. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Like, oh Mr. Business, you're back. It's it's good to see you. Thank you for coming. And I'll take care of you. Cool. Thanks, Michael. And you don't no say you don't no have, problem. like, do you act in here. Mm. I really believed you as Mr. Business. That's, well, yeah. that's he was serious. John there was no acting. I got chills. Yeah. John, there you go. John B. Business. You're looking at the new Batman right here. That's <laughs> true. With the beard coming yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, he's white, so. His chances are better, unfortunately. <laughs> just based of on them. No, Just based on Not knowing, yeah. alone. The mouth. It's... You got the look right here. You yeah. see this? You know, you shave that off, and they're like, oh. I you know what they say? I, 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 I got a Christian Bale. I got a mouth for a cow. Do you think when they cast <laughs> Batman, do you honestly think there, there, I feel like there is, there they is should. a discussion about mouths? They should. Like, yeah. he's, you got, could have he's got the, shit lips. You could have the perfect Batman. You put him in the mask, and you're like, ugh. Because I'm yeah, sure off. I read that Joel Schumacher uh, said he saw Val Kilmer and was That's like, a, that mouth. Woof. That's what they call McDonald's in Australia. Joel Schumacher? Schumacher. Macca. It's a Mac they, they I'll be over here if you got any for anything. Why don't you go back to the. I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you're going to. Why don't you focus on that for a little bit? I'm going to need another beer. I want to make sure you get done before the podcast. Um, are we going to do a, a let's play after this? Probably not. Or is it the end of the day? No. After what this, I doubt it. I mean, it's, it's 3 40. If only there was a big fucking night. We have dinner at 7 tonight. Where are we going, by the way? Style switch. Ooh. What the fuck is that? It's the barbecue place. Good good place. Burn it. Oh, okay. The uh, Frito Pie there is there. really good, actually. Yeah. I will say. They, they put brisket except for the brisket there. They put, they put like, But it's going to be impossible to get rolled like, amazing brisket on a short notice. Lambert's was like, fuck off. And said, Has he said that to you? Well, I just said that's to Trevor. Super yeah. weird. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Because I'm here doing this. Has he seen us? Delegate. Lambert's. It's like, unbelievable. I didn't, I didn't, I should have led with a, you a certain led. medical examiner would like to eat at your restaurant. No, what you should have said was, hey, how would you feel about having the next James Bond eat there? Yeah, and, but true. Then be very and they're like, Idris Elba? Idris Elba's coming here? <laughs> yeah. like, he, I'm not saying that he isn't. I thought they said that, uh, what's his name's coming back to do another one, right? Sean Connery? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> George Lazenby? Yeah, yeah. getting George Lazenby back. For another one. No, uh, uh You get a second chance. They said, what's his name? He uh, won't let go. Uh, Roger Moore died. Do you Roger not Moore's know dead, what his dude. name is, Jack? Are you really struggling here? Bronson Pinshaw. Let him get it. He'll say, not this guy, not this guy, and then he'll get it. Go on, well, I'm, I'm Dalton. He was in Layer Cake, uh... Oh, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig, thank for you. Two more. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. But he hates I did not it. think of Daniel Craig. I couldn't think of his name. Like, you guys started throwing names on a fucking blank. Well, what that's was his wild. name in Layer Cake? Are you just pouring shit all over it? That spilled, that spilled <laughs> itself. That was, you I can check, check the footage. That spilled. There. That spilled on its own. I'm sure of it. I saw it happen. I'm gonna catch up. Um, yeah, he also, he was like, done at three, right? And then he was like, all right. I'll do one more. I don't think he, I don't think he was. All right, I'll do one more. I think they really slid him. Yeah, they're like here's any, a here's a billion a dollars. On a <laughs> I, mean, I feel like I, I remember him saying, something. I, "There's there's quit. not enough money in the world to make me do this again." And they went. What do you said. reckon? And then they said, uh, "I beg to differ, sir." Then the next Bond movie is actually called "All the Money in the World." Yeah. So it works out pretty nice. 
James Bond, cash out. It's Danny Danny Boyle, right? Is the director for the... Is, it, is he really? Yeah, Danny Boyle. That'd be good. He did Layer Cake, didn't he? <laughs> Or, no, that was Matthew Vaughn. Matthew Vaughn. Matthew Vaughn did Layer Cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, great fucking movie. You know, like, get, good gangster uh, movie. Chris Columbus. You know who I was? I love the first two Harry Potters. <laughs> good world builder. The Home Alone guy. Yeah. Yes, he was. The, um, he did Home Alone too. Yeah. Did he do no, Goonies? Alone, he did he do answer. Goonies as well. No, that was no, that's uh, Richard Donner. Donner. Yeah, Donner. That was Donner. Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you, you were saying before about how you shouldn't have too many creative freedom. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I think. I need that fucking piece. Christopher Nolan has all the creative freedom. That he wants, and his shit's really good. Mm. I bet he's got some good people. I, he's got his brother keeping him in check. Hundred percent agree with you. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. So you disagree with yourself then? I like the fact that a Nolan film. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's what that is. Point. A, a <laughs> Nolan film finishes, goes to black, and it's just like written and directed by Chris Nolan. It's like it's just like he does some good shit. I made shit. that, and it's just like damn. He did. How? He that did. Was it was Nolan Prestige. Yes. Yeah. I love Prestige. Uh, That's like one of his like uh, lesser talked about films. Yeah. I, I haven't I been upset with any Nolan film. I've still never seen Dunkirk. I haven't either. I haven't seen Dunkirk yet, actually. Although there was something about Dunkirk that he might have got wrong. Oh, damn. Like, like factually wrong? Too many yeah. British people? No. Well, there was some people from the Commonwealth uh, that Ooh. were at Dunkirk that weren't represented in the movie. What a prick. Yeah. And I've got a SAG card. So they ain't got a fucking excuse. (laughs) 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 Coming in hot. All these hot takes. A lot of hot takes today. So what was it like being an actor? You know, (laughs) like what are you gonna do now? Now that you know, no one will hire you. (laughs) Um, kind of funny. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. The there are over funny. We got bad news about those guys. No, because I think I think you think you're a better fit there. I think, uh, yeah. Well, no, also, I reckon I could actually just come in and pretend to be Andy. Yeah, <laughs> you like Andy got tall. Me and Andy, yeah. Andy yeah. had a growth. He got, he got tall and funny. You know, like when you had friends at school and then <laughs> you break for summer break? Yeah, and when, we, come when back we had friends at school. A foot taller. All with massive tits. Yeah, all those friends like But had. you come back with like a big dick. You're we're like, looking, I'm Andy with a big dick now. We're all oh, looking and go like, I, I guess I'm Andy just now. That you're an actor. Can I, I, I like, can't, I, I only tell truth. You're an actor, not a liar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you been to their office? Yeah, right, because you filmed on the morning show with them? Or? Yeah, well, I drive to Vancouver. Not to say that I wouldn't visit them anyway, but they're on the way yeah, okay, to, yeah. to film it. Right. So I'll stop off. Them, stop. I'll stop off. I had to take a piss anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of this. Uh, we, they have great bathrooms. We had to put up with Andy for a while. He actually started He was here. here. Yeah, he, he started here. He really wants to work at Funhouse, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. So he migrated to Kind of Funny to get closer. He's trying to, to get on the West Coast. I'm He's so, trying. He's literally trying to get Which camera's on me? That, that one? Yeah, right. Wait, are there? Yeah, the red, the red light. light. Hey, Andy, I think they filled their bearded brown quota at Funhouse. Uh, it's not going to happen. No! I don't think it's going to happen. He's only going down from Kind of Funny, for sure. What's next? Yeah. What's down from Kind of Funny? I mean, I mean it's you're going to hot back. take. It's not coming back here. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know where he's going, but he could. He ain't going up. He, he could throw away all the, the boxes of dump at Sugar Pine. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Go, you go to Game Attack. I, I haven't like, watched Sugar Pine stuff, but I, their office is now in in mm-hmm. with Funhouse, so I see vape smoke come out underneath yeah. the door. Yeah, you gotta but be I careful. Also, if you make eye contact with Steven, you will be in eleven videos before you know it. That's true. It's one hundred percent true. He's like a velociraptor. Yeah. yeah. Also, don't go to their office and need to use the restroom because they don't have one. Well, the new one they do. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, they don't I dump mean, in boxes anymore. I mean, you now say that. Out. How quickly did they wreck it? Gavin quietly just made the best pun of the year. Oh, it was okay. amazing. Well, I hate. Do, I Gavin? fucking hate out? puns, and uh, that was perfect. You know, play the tape. Watch it back. Yeah, that's fine. I won't. Um, <laughs> have you it's ever watched? Watched? members. The joke. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever watched an off-topic? I, I probably not. Uh, I have completion. Are you gonna watch this one? Oh yeah, absolutely. Why, why three, you, three, four times. You're on it. You know what happens. That's usually my argument. Like, did you watch it and I go, no, I was there. I watched one off topic because I got a lot of tweets about it, yeah. and it was. So you, do. You, you watch it when people talk about you. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. Oh, I, what, what, I'm owning it. Yeah. But it was a few years ago. It was an off topic where Kovic was here. He cut his hand. Mm. Or he, you cut your hand. Someone cut their hand. Oh, on, on the opener. podcast. Yeah. Was it me? Did I cut my hand? I think it was. Kobe. It was because I think Jeff was was saying. Um, Raul doesn't like us and he doesn't, he hates us. And I saw it and my heart broke. I was like, that's not true. (laughs) (laughs) 
I'm just lazy. There was some kind of the guilting worked. It, there was some kind of blood pack. Later, there was blood. Something happened. Someone there was, had a. There was a, a blood pack. Oh, you have that thing. It. It's the thing that the popper that shoots off bottom the, the, the bottle cap. Yeah. That's what it was. That's yeah. it. Someone yep. cut. Is it you? You cut yourself. It's that possible. Sucks. It's possible. We had to take it away from Jeff because he wouldn't stop clicking. It makes a cool noise, but it doesn't. Makes a terrible noise. That's the off topic I watched, and I watched last week's off topic. He watched. Four years ago. Oh, yeah, and he watched the really popular off topic where we covered religion. I loved it. Yeah. A lot of people. I was only. Yeah, what I was happened last week? I was We're gone. making up for you. Who was yeah. I? It was me, Michael, Andy. Trevor? No. Andy no, was Trevor. There. It was me, you, Lindsay, Alfredo, and Jeremy. Okay. That's who it was. <laughs> it says a cheer. Jeremy, Jeremy went in hard. Jeremy, Jeremy was throwing down some fights. I was watching because that's pretty cool. I'm so conceited. You got extra pieces. I See, thought look, you would talk about Jeff's pop-up pieces. pass. It's hard to draw. What I think we did. I think it. I wanted to yeah, talk about it. Yeah, we No, no, no. We definitely mentioned it because we mentioned Jack couldn't get into it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The fucking party. We talked about. Yeah, that, me, for me, sure. and kind of funny couldn't get into Jeff's fucking party. Kind of funny got in. Why not? You should have texted me. Oh, should I? You should have texted me. It's my party. That's what Jeff oh my god! <laughs> I did text you. Jack, I texted you. Jack, you didn't fucking respond. Get what? Jeff. I cool. had you in like that. You're busy. Definitely talked about it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. He texts me and says I left. Why no, I no. got the text. I'll look up the fucking text right now. Why don't you just walk in? Because I tried to. I, I, I walked up and I'm like, this is going to be a Some fucking LA nightmare. Party. It was packed. There were 300 people on the sidewalk. There were 400 people inside in a room but about the size Jeff. of this table. Well, he knows. That's when you text knows. everyone in there saying, open the fire Jeff. escape. No. Now. No. For for Jeff, no. Jeff, open the fire please. escape. So I walked up and I'm like, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. And then Cow Chop was there. Kind of funny was there. They got right in. And I looked in <laughs> and I, I see, I see like, Sophie. Oh, from she comes outside. She goes, oh, give me like five minutes. And I was like, oh, okay. She goes back and she comes out with a Sharpie. And she's like, come here. I, I need to write a G on your hand. And I was like, okay. And then she wrote a G on my hand. And there's a, there's a bouncer. Like I tried going and he's like, no. And I was like, okay, whatever. Go up to the front and I'm like, oh, I got a G. And I work here. And he goes, cool, back the line. And I was like. No, I work here. He goes, I don't care. Back the line. I'm like, I'm out. And I just walked. And yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to deal see, with that. See, here it is right here. You said, you texted, yo, man, this is become a huge pain. Have a good party. See you tomorrow at 9.55 p.m. And I responded to you at 5 p.m. the next day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, so just, uh. Very clearly. You should have called. I didn't hear my phone yeah, buzz. I'm, you should, I'm sure you would have heard it ring, though. Maybe. I don't know. If it meant that. He right. just tried harder than I mean, that. It was, probably anyway. it was a good party, though. Know? It was well, a great sure. party. I mean, but I showed up when I was not crazy. Rub it if anybody would have showed up at like 10 o'clock, it would have been fine. <laughs> it was awesome. Well, I, ended up, I went to the Fortnite party, and that was Whoa. pretty cool. Oh, was so I there? ditched the Fortnite party to come to your party. Oh, thanks, Because I was in the, I was in the pro-am. Oh, oh, really? How'd you do? Or did you just I ain't talking about how I did at the pro-am. I saw your tweet. Noah J. That fucking thing was insane. Yeah. That, like... Arena, and then you were like, "What am I doing here?" It's like a forty million dollar stage. Fuck them. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I did so bad. All right, so you oh like my Fortnite. god, you I normally play Fortnite. No, uh, I oh, I sound like Joel McHale. My mind's there. running now. Like, oh, Joel? what should, what can McHale. I say about this tournament? I you want. They they yeah. contacted me. They can't. Take I wish the money it was back Battlefield now. Five, or if it was the first person, because that's what I, I I play, and I'm I'm good at first persons. Um, that's, how that's good. But I'm thinking of some shit for tomorrow. When they back. anything first person, I love it. Never played that. Oh, no, I I but I'd I'd love to play that. But with Fortnite, Fortnite it came Fortnite. through, Fortnite. 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 and they were saying, hey, like if you participate with, you know, everyone gets a a, a cut just to, uh, to a charity of your choice. And I'd never really done anything like that before, so I was mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, I'm in. Knowing that I'd never really played this game. So, Bruce from Funhouse. Who? Bruce Green. Oh. <laughs> um, He's the new kid. He, oh, yeah. he basically trained me it's every day. He's talent manager. He would, we would play duos up until that point. Really? Because I'm just not good at it. I, it's yeah, just one of those games like. You know I, that game. I, yeah, we're not good at it either. It's, and it's not like it doesn't make you a bad gamer. I just. When I, when I get the, the drop on you. I want to fucking shoot you in the face. You yeah. don't want them to build a wall. When you start Minecrafting around me and then yeah. you're off, I'm like, I'm I lose saying. interest. I'm like, yeah. I, I, it's not worth it. I'd rather just That's why die. we prefer PUBG over Fortnite. Just because it's a similar Never game. Never PUBG. It's a similar game minus the building. But I respect, like, how like I know that when they announced that I was part of the Pro-Am tournament, I it was the first time after all the cool stuff I've been able to do in these last few years. It's the first time like my, my missus is um, 
nieces and nephews were like, holy shit! Yeah, Fortnite. <laughs> and it was because they saw me on the Fortnite thing. They didn't give me anything. Anyway. They don't watch the show. Fuck them. But like, they're, only, <laughs> yeah. they're 12 years old. But Patrick. like, that's why I, I Fuck made them, they're 12 years old. I, that's that's the G Jimmy Lovett fucking yeah. program. If we, yeah, if we Stop. can't attract 12 year olds on the CW, what the fuck are we doing? Why are you, yeah. why are you attracted to 12 year olds? That's what CW does. <laughs> But like, give us your tweens, give us your teens, give us all well, the in between. Yeah, give us this, your disaffected youth. Yeah, that's this. Yeah, that's so. So we'll hook them on Jingle Jangle. <laughs> is that? Oh, is that Riverdale? Oh, it's I thought that was more Gavin. No, 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 Jingle Jangle is like if <laughs> Riverdale wasn't a thing, it could come from. It's him. the meth in Riverdale. But yeah, so so I, I I did it knowing that it would be bad, but I was paired with a pro player. So hey, anything, who is the pro player? You drag Lyric? him down. Oh, okay, Lyric? yeah, yeah. Uh, who weirdly. We look alike. I don't know if you could pull a picture up of Lyric at some oh, point, they but that. they planned this. Yeah, for sure. Of all the people they could have paired me with, yeah. um, they paired me with Lyric, and uh, and he I'm not calling him out. Love him, great oh. guy. Oh. Sorry, he's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, there we go. Jack, stop me if if you think I'm with. Uh, uh, but no, go ahead. He oh, stop. He just got us into a big fight at the beginning. And he knew I couldn't handle that. I thought we would hide. Was, I was happy to yeah, hide. He was, he was trying. To... He was trying to pull out the warrior within. He had tweets. He was, like, he was, he was, he was either, either trying to get you into it or dump dead weight. What do you oh, oh, is that I, can, that? I can see it. Man, I mean, that's a horrible headshot for you, Ro. But yeah. that that's me and yeah. I mean, yeah, it's you. Look at it's... the contouring. He's done well there. What's in the back of his head? Is and now, like a robot back? Of... And now bring up a picture of Lewis, who they were also going to pair me with. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, it looks like Lewis portrait they, mode that's gone wrong. They were, they can't, can't, can't feature. Lewis he can't feature on, feature on any. Honor. No, Funhouse. Yeah, Funhouse. Oh, we put him in all the time. He'll be on the goddamn yeah, yeah, yeah. show. He'll be a new cast member, but we can't show a picture of him here. But I, I was I, when I died. I looked at the score count. I was ninety-eight. Oh, oh, God. God. oh, oh damn! God. I've never been <laughs> shot still lat like flying, <laughs> <laughs> and he left me. Yeah, and so you can't just and you can't like just relaunch into a new game. Nope. I sat there for at least fifteen minutes watching. So what Ninja. you're saying Thinking is, thinking about what you've done. Yeah, he went in this match solo. Is what happened. <laughs> yeah, he's like, the one that shot rule. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's spreading. I just get so upset when yeah, he gets yeah, yeah. It, it, uh, he shot it, but he like rule. I was there from. They got me there too early. <laughs> they picked me up at twelve. They picked you at noon. At noon. And we didn't start playing until like five or God, four. What did you do for five hours? I watched uh, this backpack kid. Like, uh, also, if you want to know where you stand in the world, the in terms of like, yeah. So like, the whole time I was at this tournament in the green room, you know, there were there were like uh, uh, journalists and people green room. covering it. Yeah. yeah, there was rappers and NBA players and da da da. Um, and I've been doing the show for about four or five years. No one spoke to me except Bruce, oh, of who's a fan. Um, but I remember when all the journalists rushed, and I was like, oh shit, okay, here we go, and they know I'm here, well, something's gonna happen. <laughs> and it, it, it wasn't, it's because the backpack kid was behind me going, doing this, oh, yeah. sort of shit, oh, yeah. and, and they went nuts. And I was like, <laughs> I mean, I... Yeah, get I went, out of the way, I went, sir, get I, out of the way! Yeah. I went to theatre school, yeah. um, but this is what everyone wants right now. And that was, a, that was a metaphor for the whole day. Alfredo was, can do it, he's got it. He's, he's got that. that I feel thing like down. stuff like that. There's always a big differentiation between influencers and then real celebrities. But I feel like at something like that, it will be flipped because people aren't there for the celebrities. They're there for the. Also, you know, the I like memes. They're there keenly. For memes and shit. What he just said is, you are neither a celebrity nor an. Influence. Yeah, I went. So where do I fit in, Gavin? I, I would have fit you in with celebrities. It was what? the real celebrities and then the people that could play the game. That was and such a rule. stealthy. Yeah, that was British, unwarranted. Dig. British. So. <laughs> <laughs> it was, you know, they it. want real celebrities and influencers. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was. I, I so I was there for about five, six hours, and um, and I was it's eliminated. Long, really. I was eliminated after ten seconds of play. <laughs> oh my god! And then they asked me, and I'm such a dickhead. This is where I need to control oh my myself because I, I, I. Did you I'm, get honest with them? Not honest. Oh, okay. I just, I knew. Look, you're not good at this game. Uh -huh. You don't care. Sure. You're there because you're raising money for charity and 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 it's a good cause. So when they ask you, once you've lost, don't be a dickhead. You don't care. It's not like someone came to your house and beat you at your favorite game. Sure. But because I'm such a child and I don't have any media training, <laughs> once Ninja won, 
<laughs> who, who, he, what? He, he did? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Once he won, and then they were like, I, I whispered what to one of the fuck? handlers that was there, yo, when can I get off stage? And they were like, no, 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 they want you to stand behind Ninja. They want everyone out there for five minutes to just clap and be there for the photo op. I'm such a child, I went out the fire escape. <laughs> <laughs> fucked off that at Lyric, at the game, at everyone, LA, America, backpack kids, <laughs> there's a picture of me behind Xavier Woods just scowling. Oh. Sounds like the worst day of your life. And then to... I went out the back and I was supposed to, oh, fuck, God. I don't even know, it, but I was supposed to attend oh. the red carpet or the purple carpet for just <laughs> right. like to talk about the cause and stuff and then attend the party for a little bit. And I went straight to the pop-up party. And, and you got in. And I got in straight away. Great. No <laughs> fucking around. No G the on my hand. Was I was like, oh my god, I love my zombie. Like, okay. Come in, man. Um, and then, and oh there. Come in, Johnny. You're here. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> they, I love the big sick. And I, I got more love from the Rooster Teeth community and uh, had more fun than I did. And it was, I was the best decision I ever made. I was so happy by the end of it. Um, seeing you guys and not you. No, so, not me. I was, I was looking there, at you, but I was looking at Jeff, you went there. The worst part, I was, I'm, I'm happy to hear you say that because I, I talked to you a lot that night, I felt like, here and there. And uh, you kept much. saying, like, where's Jack? And I was like, I don't know, he said he would be here. And you were like, I just want to see how I said, I was I was like, You were like, I, I, should, I should text him, make sure he's here. Oh, no, that's right. <laughs> I was just like, I don't know, he said he'd be here. And I should look like, at my just, phone at I really just wanted to see Jack tonight. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I said to you, I can get him in. Yeah. I'll just, just have a word. It's not a big deal. You should it's see it. how many. I got kind of funny in. How many people you can get into other people's parties and see if you can actually get to the point where that's a like limit. a business and you offer that as a business. Oh. I will get you in. I'll get you into it's a party a that job. I'm not in. Concierge VIP. I used service. to do yeah. that. I did that for three weeks. Uh, <laughs> you'll know the club. You All might right. know it. Do you know Punk? It used to be called Punk. It's in London. Do I look like someone who went to a club? No. <laughs> no. It's a team. No. Do I look like I went, went clubbing? I at feel a place like called you Punk. did. No, no, no. Halo he, went, he went to it, the shed in his backyard. I that's play Halo too, and I went clubbing. Yeah, no, well, but that's you're what you're he probably, dreamed of being. You're yeah. probably like <laughs> really good with the ladies. Gavin, and Gavin, and Gavin imagine. Yes, Gavin's youth. He imagined someone who could play video games and wasn't a loser. Yeah, <laughs> you're that. Well. I went to a I went to a club in Oxford a few times, but you know they kept asking me I, to leave. I would yeah. get in. It was Sir. Jeff said he couldn't get you in. <laughs> yeah. I'd get in. You'd stand at the bar for a bit, and then they'd serve everyone, and then you get and they'd be like, "Can I go home yet?" Well, so I don't get it. The club. Were you asking the bartender? He's not that? kidding. That He's the club. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I, there was a place called Punk. It was in right. Soho or something. It was like a hipster. Just pretend place. like yeah. you know. And oh, yeah, yeah, I've been there. We for some reason the the. Guy, I went there as a uh, just as a customer, and um, they then said, "Hey, uh, w would you like to hand out flyers, or at least attract groups into the thing? So, like, so bring people in." So for three weeks, I don't know why I agreed. I was just broke. Um, I would stand on the streets, and if three or four, and they wanted more girls because they want to keep that ratio. Because yeah, sure. boys will go anywhere, yeah, fill it fun. up. They don't yeah. give a fuck. And that is, uh, that's, that's, that, you know, whereas they really want a place wants a better ratio. Um, so my job for three weeks was to just, if I saw a group of girls within the vicinity. Sort of de-sausaging uh, clubs a little yeah, bit. Yeah, de-sausaging. That's exactly what it was. But I'd have to go up and be like, all right, ladies, where are you off to tonight? Oh, While boy. I'm doing the walk. And they're like, yeah. fuck off, we're going to the da, da I go, you sure you don't want to come down to this club and there? So I'll get you a table with Austin. some drinks. Yeah. Like and that was, it was, it was the... It was the worst thing I've ever what done. What would you that say your success screen. rate was on a percentage oh, of interactions? Uh, I'd say for every five groups I spoke to, none of them came in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was going to be impressed with a one. Twenty percent's pretty good, but that's that's a zero. Percent. No, I got a, I got a couple in, but then the problem was you oversell, right? Yeah. So you're going. Oh, it's wall to wall full of sausage. I don't know where you said it to go. But you, yeah, we'll get you free drinks. It's like and, Dick oh, City, yeah, USA. Yeah. You can't, you like can't move oh, for no cock. There's no in here. Um, you would over sell it. Store. It's Dick City at the club next door. That's why you don't go there. You gotta pivot. Yeah. But then, like, well, the problem is, because I would still go there and drink and then go back up, because I'm still out. Oh, sure. Um, so I'd bring these girls in. They'd get stamped and they'd get their, their wristbands. They'd walk in. It's empty. Like Gavin. Yeah. It feels like and then you feel Twitter so guilty when you've you've caught them, you bring them in, and then you've just let them in the most dead club 
ever, yeah. and then you're just sort of sitting there with a JD and Coke, like, <laughs> sorry girls. <laughs> It, I hate that. A, I like this is the point of the evening where we learn that I'm a liar. I like <laughs> the, I like the barrier there though, where like once they're in, they're in, and I feel like if they then turn around to you inside the bar and say, "What happened?" You're like, uh, 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 "Please." I'm an outside I'm the, on the next Oh person. yeah, I've done my thing. Don't worry. Hey, listen, take it up with management. I've got you in. But also with with like the club scene is very I want to say it's it's quite anti-male. Um, in that respect, like going out as a youngster when I was single or whatever, being a boy, particularly, and I found that the bouncers in the UK, and you might back, not probably not back. No, he won't. He won't. We'll see, I'm hoping we'll you will. What's a bouncer? But, but, but the doormen in the UK are especially tough. I, I found LA to be they're quite welcoming, regardless of the ratio of boys. I feel like the ones in LA are often quite good looking, but. You'll get a really ugly giant bouncer in England who is just extra mean. Oh, that's New Jersey, baby. <laughs> oh, is it? It's, Any bar ever is like, there's no oh, real what do you want? There's no real winning with them. <laughs> they they if if you try to reason, I think they'll take that as They're so dismissive. They are, yeah. No, no, no. And if I mean, we've tried, we would try everything to get in. We've staggered. I would me and a buddy would literally go around the block. You'd buying the group shoulders. of girls that were going there on his shoulders with a long coat. That's what they did in the office, US. They did. Yeah. 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 That, 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 absolutely. In New York. Basketball scene, yeah. Team. yeah. We would do that where we're like, I'm so sorry. Can we can we pretend that we're dating <laughs> just for the line? We'll buy your first round. We'll, we'll, like, we'll, like, we'll buy your first can round. You and then they, these like six girls would be like, all right. And then you would. So, like, but I found the ma like British clubs are one of the hardest I've ever been to. And it could be anything. Like, I remember being turned away because there wasn't collars on my shirt. And I'm like, nah, it's collars tonight, mate. And you go, <laughs> yeah. who gets the memo? <laughs> yeah. Or they go, nah, that's boots. We said shoes only. And there's a difference between Doc Martens and, and you shoes. You need a bloke down the street just selling collars that you could collar. They should <laughs> down the street like that. They should be run outside. What's, yeah, the, what's, the, what's, the, Austin? what's the Austin? Austin costume? doesn't give a fuck. It doesn't give a fuck now. You can go anywhere wearing anything. I the nicest restaurants pajamas, here. Pajamas. You could wear that. Why I one time, this is years and years and years it's ago. It's kind of nice. Before Rooster Teeth. Yeah. When I was still married to my first wife, uh, and Gus and my first wife and I went went to a club one night and I was wearing a Ramones t-shirt and the guy stopped me and he goes, no logos. What? And then he walked, then he like, he waved the guy in a Tommy Hilfiger shirt in and I go, that guy's shirt has a logo on it. And he goes, that's Tommy Hilfiger. And I go, this is just a band. This is Ramones. He goes, yeah. And I go, you know what, Gus, it's Sarah, it's okay. I got another shirt in the car. I'll just go change. And he goes, I'll be honest with you. You're never gonna have the right class to get in here. <laughs> I go, what? He goes, you, you just, you, he goes, don't bother. And I go, all right. God. Wow. Harsh. Yeah. But they do, the they do that it. sometimes. Like we, yeah. we had one where we hadn't been pre-drinking. We had all finished work. We quickly went home, dressed everywhere, and we re-met in, uh, you know, Uxbridge. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've never been there. Heard of it a lot. Uxbridge is like a real shit place. They should be happy that you're even spending an evening there. Yeah. <laughs> There's. A, I'm not even from here. I came. I'm visiting. It's, it really should welcome the fucking <laughs> customers Existence. that go in. It's a humans. fucking. I, I like. It's a. It's a shithole. I went to college there for years. Um, my we so we were stone cold sober. I don't think we had alcohol in our systems for a week. Go and straight away, bouncer was like, and they just picked one of our dudes and went, nah, he's wasted. <laughs> And he wasn't. He was like, I'm I'm not. It was it was the beginning of the night. And I was like, I haven't been drinking that. No, he's not coming in. No, no, no I can like, see I will it. beat you in did you chest say, right now. Did you, <laughs> yeah. say, did you say sorry and then go in? No, we can get in. Oh, so no, so no, like, no, you never leave him behind. No, you never leave him behind. No, I would leave him behind. Sure. Why? I look for opportunities. This is going to be funny. It would be funny. First of all, I'd be funny for like a minute and then I'd go home. It's like yeah, it's but then like I'd be in the party, so that I would laugh and then enjoy myself. It's like when yeah, you get a text like, when you're on. at a party and you go, "But oh, Jack can't get in." Hmm. I thought he's mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. great, Jeff. It's great, funny. No, it was. <laughs> Show's a fun party. It was pretty. Fun. You guys had. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I tattooed a man. Well, that was like no, you, you did. did. You that did. Was, that was yeah, one thing. I, wa I wanted to get a tattoo. I wanted to get my my extra life tattoo. I'm like, I'll get a tattoo of Jeff, and I took out like right there. I had to get one James from Cowtrap because get in. Where do you, where, where's yours? Uh, I got it like right on my knee. Oh. Can you just slip Tim like <laughs> a weird I don't oh. Know. oh, he was like a little. I, mean, I was like, I, well, the reason oh, I said, I oh, was because if I asked to see it, you have to take your pants off. And I was like, oh, well then that's. I'll take my pants off. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah, you got kind of like almost like skinny jeans, but not quite. How's my just nose that? doing on that? Oh, the key. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. How's Gab's nose? It's fine. I haven't seen a little boy in a while. Gab's nose? No, no, no. Over here. Roll over here. 
I lost a bet. He lost a bet. It was a whole show we did. That's Gavin's so nose. Gavin's my nose. And also, if you notice, a real whole, you can tell he lost because it says loser. Yeah. Under it. That was not part of the bet. I added the loser. You part. did. Jeff really wanted to spice I, it up. I fucking love you, Jeff. That's the <laughs> Thanks, baddest ass thing. I'll probably be sniffing his ankles. Um, that was like the story I had told like forever ago. It was like one of the first things I did with Rooster Teeth. But I was at um New York Comic Con. I think it was. It was like the me, Chris, and Barbara going out drinking. That. Yeah. And like we were at a bar right next to the the hotel, and the three of us were in the bar. And one of the guys we were with, he was like drunk in the bathroom. Like, like throwing up, but he was like in the bathroom and then Barbara didn't feel well. So I was like, all right, well, uh, Chris, I'll be back for you. Like talking through the bathroom door. He's like, ah, I'm uh, throwing up. And I'm like, all right. And this is just like, this is not even a club. This is the bar, like neck, right next to the hotel. It was 6 p.m. It was like 10. No, it was pretty late. It was like one in the morning or something. So me and Barbara go back to the hotel, drop her off like at the elevator. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back and get Chris. I go back in. This is like East Coast. This is New York. I, I'm walking back up the steps to the bar I just left, and there's a dude there literally just shoves me back onto the street. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I don't know. Maybe you were, you didn't know I was trying to walk in. He's like, nah, get out of here. How you're, did you not get done. fired up? Because you hate being shoved. Because the dude was like four times the size of me. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, and it was like, it was just like up like two steps. You know what I mean? It was like, it was like step, step, and then that was the door to the bar. So it was an extra insult, like getting shoved down steps, you know? <laughs> I was like, oh, jeez. Like, I almost tripped into the street. Where was this? This is in New York. This oh, in, in New York. In Manhattan. Um, and then that was, there's there's a whole story about it, because in that encounter, I got shoved out of the the bar. I'm like, my friend's inside. My, my friend's inside there, I need to go get him. They're like, nah, you're Gavin would have punched him in the back of the head for you. I don't know. If he would have, if, yeah, if Gavin was behind him, he would have done something and run away. Uh, but like the story there is I got shoved out and in the out, I'm like, all right, what the fuck? And the guy's like, nah, you're done. I'm like, uh, okay. Then a dude walks right up to me and he goes, man, that's crazy. Want to buy some drugs? <laughs> and then that was a whole the guy like, and that's how you met Jack. Coat, yeah, right? Right? Yeah. Coat, he had the was coat like, hey. open. He's like, what do you want? And you like playing video game? He was selling strippers across the street. It was like, he's like, you give him my name across the street. It's a whole thing. Oh shit. But that was like, oh, okay. I guess I'm not. Going back in there. I, I, weirdly, it's so embarrassing. I don't know why this has happened, but I started hanging out with Bruce. Yeah, that is oh, embarrassing. Yeah, that's no, right. Right. Oh, and that's the that story. In public. Yeah. yeah. That's At it. least, like, Lawrence. But, a well, you need to say, I, 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 I would, I would. Has a, he has a nice square head. Lawrence? Yeah. yeah. It's very yeah. chiseled. I mean, yeah. you aim for a lease, you settle for Kovic. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, you know. You aim for okay. You call her and be like, I want to hang out with her. <laughs> She's too. Well, he doesn't have time, time for us. Exactly. That's oh. why you're like, oh, if I could hang out with her that's by association, that'd be so much cooler. Time. Well, that's, I mean, lucky you, famous celebrity. Yeah, it must be nice. Yeah. At least only respectable. Did you know that only uh, 6,500,000 people watched the finale of iZombie? How that's many thousand? 6,500. Is that right? No, six hundred and fifty thousand. No way, that's right. <laughs> less than less well, than he said three quarters of a mil. Thousand, which is what confused me. Yeah, I. That's yeah. The, the math's wrong. I don't know what point you're making. I'm not famous or a celebrity. Uh, like six people. Gavin, yeah, how many people? Watched I think the I'm hanging out show. with two of them. <laughs> if you had every episode of iZombie at your, you could just access any one of them. Could you tell us mm. which scene that you're in mm. was the closest to you having a wank in the entire? Hundred percent. Yeah. Like, like really? you can look at a scene and go seconds before this, like, or like after four minutes. Or... I've never. Trailer. So this isn't just <laughs> I zombie, I a, but I've follow. never masturbated at work. Oh, that's a that's a. Like shame. you mean in front of the camera? <laughs> like I mean, even like just anywhere. That'd be four I've never work. Done that. Yeah. Until, never I'm felt... not ever that random. Yeah, work. that's what I was gonna say. I'm never that horny to go like. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Can we just episode. break for a second? I need to go fucking <laughs> knock one out. Yeah. Like I. I Let me ask you this follow up question. Without getting into specifics, obviously. You work with a lot of talented and lovely people, and I, your career has existed outside of... Some, this was, this one's going to sting more. Yeah, it's it's about, about, it's career, your career has existed outside of iZombie, so we might not even be talking about that. But have you ever been in a scene or filmed something where you were motivated to masturbate? Like, later, you kept that moment, <laughs> and you went home, and you're like, I can't get this out of I can't get that scene out of this iZombie, a lot of dead bodies. A lot of... So, only so, only when you're home. alone in that, in that morgue all day long. <laughs> only when I do podcasts. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, well, excellent. I mean, obviously, and, and then, that's what we were saying. Which is great because hopefully later he'll still be with us. Yeah. at dinner. When I was, when like, I was at, has been in the bathroom for a while. <laughs> when I was at drama school and it was new, I, I, there was, uh, you learn a way to switch things off. Mm. And also at drama school, there wasn't as many. <clears throat> 
moving components. So like when we were rehearsing scenes that were intimate, it was usually you in a small office somewhere trying to find some like space just to rehearse a scene with your with your scene partner. There was a lot more like it was easy to get carried away. Or it was easy to to kind of be more invested. But like when we do intimate scenes at work, like on iZombie or whatever, <clears throat> one Ali is who I uh, um dating in the show, I mm -hmm. guess, where Abby's dating is like we're just super, super close, like best mates. And two, there's about sixty people watching. And it I just don't I don't get hard. Yeah, no, I feel you. <laughs> you did a lot of that on the yeah, team. No, that's exactly what I was thinking. With had, Ali DeBerry, like I, one of the most attractive people on the planet. I had a, a love interest in our film, Laser mm. Team, and it was just I was just like, Ugh. I was like terrified the entire time. Yeah. There's was, there was one like bedroom scene where like it starts off kind of saucy, but then she's like possessed by an alien, so she beats the shit out of me. Based but, on like, true story. Even, yeah, based on true story. Even in that scene, it's the two of us like on a bed, <clears throat> and it was a pretty small like bedroom. Yeah. And so they had Matt, the director, in the closet with the first AD and the sound guy. Like literally in the closet with the door cracked open, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is this like awkward thing in my fucking life." Like I'm, I'm not an actor, and I'm in this fucking movie, and I'm doing this scene, and and Matt's from the closet. He's like, "Yeah, all right, now move her leg over a little bit more though." And I was like, "Oh, I want to die! Yeah, it's, kill me! It's... Kill me!" And Matt's like, "Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that looks <laughs> Jesus. Good. Yeah, hundred percent." And I was like, and you just see him like peeking out of the door that's open well, like this. He's like, better, yeah, that's was, good, that's good. I was shooting the movie? myself and vomiting at the exact time you were shooting that. Yeah, you were. Not because of the scene, no, just because you were sick and you were voice. shitting yourself. That's funny because Jeff was vomiting. masturbating at the time. Yeah. So it actually works out well. Yeah. It's a full circle. Yeah, I love, I'm the thing I don't talk about a lot. I'm masturbating right now. I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I know. There was also a... Uh, you just every once in a while you might see me do a little. It got trimmed down in the in the theatrical release, but especially in the unedited version, there's a literal jerk-off scene. That was maybe the most terrifying scene of my life. Getting jerked uh, off. This is a bunch of people. Yes, yeah, it was like um, uh, seventy show. Is that seventy show style? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Cameron the the, the camera around when spinning they're spinning around of me looking across from Bernie, where his, his character's daughter is jerking me off in a dreamscape scenario. That was pretty interesting. And this is Laser Team. Yeah, it's Laser Team One. And the the worst part about it was Gavin kept looking at me right in the eyes when it was happening. I, 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 I was doing some of these. I was like, yeah, I was like. Stop. Stop. It'd be weird if they you did that 70s, so erect. If they did that 70s show now, would it be that 90s show? Like, what was the difference between? Well, when they'd it was have on? a cast member missing. He's not allowed to work no more. It's true. Oh yeah. Oh, that was Danny Masterson. Danny Masterson. <laughs> his hey, brother. His brother was the older brother in Malcolm in the Middle. What was the What was the time difference between the 70s right? and yeah. that show? Yeah. That was it. Oh my no, god, there is a resemblance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Francis. Wait, like, when did it yeah, come Francis. Out? Yeah, that's oh, his brother. Maybe the early 2000s. No, I was saying they're like two Late brothers 90s, early 2000s. different shows at the same time. Then they came out with that 80s show with fucking... Did they really do an 80s show? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it failed, failed, one it failed imme immediately. You know what oh, did? so it never it made it a secret. It was a British version of that 70s. Even it's better. a Fuck cellular you should watch phone. It. Even it, it really, Who's in it? It's, I don't, no one. No one did it. Even it's more really shocking, bad. people now wouldn't think, is that 80s show came out... Is that I, a thing? That no, no, feels no, no, like you no, got. No, no, it no, came out either either right before that '70s show ended or after it ended. I think no, it, was, it came it was, out before it ended. It was during the run, yeah. Was... Uh, and it was the main character was supposed to be a cousin of Eric Foreman, and it was fucking uh, Glenn was in that, right? Glenn Howard. Glenn Howard. Yeah, from I think he Sunny. was. De Dennis from oh, Sunny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like a main character, if not the main character in that show, and it was only. I don't even think it lasted a season. I, I don't think it lasted a season. I think they either. pulled it like a couple episodes in, but it was all like it was all like eighties. It was like based on like around like a CD store or mm -hmm. some shit, like a music store there. or We're something. Uh, but yeah, it did not last at all. Was they it like tried to Saved make by the Bell new class? You're doing awesome. No, I mean because it was a different show. Love nobody, in, nobody from that seventy show was one. in it. Oh yeah. But they tried, they tried to loosely connect it, and people were like, Wait fuck you, 80s. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, you can keep plugging away, Jack. It's fine. No, as I was saying, right, Rahul, my Lego brethren. He, he yeah. bought the uh, the mm -hmm. Millennium Falcon, the, the giant like seventy five hundred piece. Thing. And I yeah. did it yeah. no, when like, we were six, pretty much sure we sorry, were cancelled. Six. Oh, really? And for some reason, all, the, all the dumb shit I bought, there was this boxed 7,000 piece <laughs> Millennium 7, Falcon. 7,500, yeah. In the, in the, in the and it became the, the, it became the, it like kind of focal point of, I shouldn't, this, I've, I've gone, gone too far. Should, I've gone I should, too far. Yeah, yeah, the CW I'm aren't bringing us back, and I've just spent this much money, and it wasn't even more than I've spent on a night out. I was just like, it just became this yeah. thing in the like room. The I was idea like, that 
You're talking about this season, I assume. Season yes, five. this season was very. I like the idea that season four, waiting on season five, you were like, "I've done myself in. I'm in debt now. I bought this." And it was a Lego. I bought Legos, and I can't recover from this. That's what I thought. It's it was there was, was no. Was texting Rob Thomas. He's like, I, I honestly, I just oh, need the paycheck. Dude, honestly. there was actually a tech that that happened. <laughs> it was dead serious. I, I the first time when they were like, "Yo, I don't think we're gonna make it." <laughs> I text Ali and it was like, cause she was with me when I bought the Millennium Falcon. I was like, Oh shit, what's the Do you know where, I, do we still, did I take the receipt? <laughs> For some no? reason I thought $700 was just like, well, that's it. I, that's... But it wasn't like a pet Jaguar. Fortunately, <laughs> yeah, fortunately they pay you, it was like seven, they pay you yeah, like six, a season. Like six so six well, a, in solidarity to the Lego <laughs> team that we are. Yeah, dude. I'm that a back cat. Look, look, I'm following Joe. You spend more than I do this cause the lights, the lights, they block your face. Yeah. Sure. So Gavin's never had a club? night out, so he doesn't know. Absolutely. <laughs> Limo and strip club. Night, nightclubs are, ex yeah, they can be expensive. Oh, I guess, it depends. Yeah, if you do like table service and champagne and stuff. Have you ever had a moment nah. where you were like, nah. have, you ever been, have you ever had a moment where you were like, holy shit, how am I here right now? Yeah, right like, now. Right yeah. now. I mean, aside from He's right having now, that moment right oh, now. Oh, like, or why like, am I here right now? Jeff, Jeff, texted, it. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff had my moments. In uh, at fucking Comic Con one year, where he went to he went to a boat party with Weird Al Yankovic and like, and, like a oh, the entire <laughs> cast of Game of Thrones. Yeah, and he's like Jack would love this. Like, it was so like awesome. yeah, like a uh, Jeff uh, like, had my moment. It was yeah. before I had ever seen Rick and Morty, so I wasn't a fan. But like Justin Roiland and Dan Harmon were there. Oh, and, like, yeah, about like, like, and I'm like oh. texting Jack. I'm like, dude, you'd be in heaven right now. I was in a corner going like, oh, these fuckers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Weird Al Yankovic's over there playing with a monkey, and Jack's like, what? <laughs> and awesome. it was the monkey was famous. <laughs> Jeff had my moment. <laughs> Jeff had my moment. And I was I like there with the, that was that night I was there with Daniel Kalua, Kulia. He was in the back Oh, no. Oh, nice. Yeah. I had that with, with uh, Steve-O in my back garden. I was like, <laughs> I had that moment. Yeah. With, that was, Steve that was, Steve I, was that yours? Yeah. He that was something a, in his backyard. He did a slow mo guy. Bucket yeah, list moment for me. He came to my me. house on his own. I was like, he was like, yeah. I dude. wish I could just show a screenshot of this to my. 14 year old self. I have never appeared in a slow-mo guys video, never wanted to, prefer not to, uh, if at all possible in any way. Uh, but Gavin was like, yeah, Steve, I was coming over to my house today. And I was like, can I be in your dumb video? And he was like, yeah, you can hold a hose. So I, yeah, <laughs> I, you held that I was hose. like, I need help hanging a giant balloon. And I did it. But yeah. it was it was so much fun because it was such a cool experience. But I learned that the amount of time from meeting Steve-O to wanting to leave is about three hours. <laughs> where I was like, that was the experience I, I had. I love Steve. I, I he was great. He's that. great. Love He's great. Oh, With he reason. Great. Hey, Gavin. I got a big naked, sweaty swim, hug yeah. from him. You would? I, I'm 100%. He won't know, ask you, just so you know. I know. Like, he's logging away like, that's great. Yeah, he may. He may, he may. Oh, good yeah. to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, cool. struggling. Yeah, yeah. Steve-O's busy. I'll call you. <laughs> yeah. Gavin and his head's like, nothing else. Gavin just said, give us season six and seven of Eyes on Me, we'll talk. Fuck. When, when Robbie they announced this the end. So five is the final season. Yes. Yeah. That's good though. Very good exciting. Run. Five seasons run. is a five hell of a run. And you get to get the finish. You know what? Every nice. so the we office always, only had two. Uh, and a Christmas special, which and I was an extra in. Really? Were you really? Yeah, the scene where he's dressed as Austin Powers. No, hundred percent. Gavin, the Gavin yeah. just now cares about you. Yeah. you want to be a <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Gervais follows me on Twitter, Don't. and I want to be like, dude, I, I was a like, fucking oh, extra. I feel like you challenge Ask Gervais him. a lot in can, your humor. I do. Can I feel you, like it's a similar vibe. Back I follow of, you both on Twitter. Back I'm against the wall. Like, back against the wall. I'll draw on Gervaisiums to protect myself. Yeah. So if you, if I'm uncomfortable. All of a sudden, I'll scrunch my nose and be like, "Really? All right." Dude, like you're like, <laughs> I can't, I can't help. Can it. you? It's he's like, you're like the British Amy Adams. She was in the Office US before she was like, she was, she was she Jim's. Was the, she was the purse lady, and then she was yeah, Jim's she was girlfriend. Jim's oh, girlfriend. That wasn't a cameo. She was in. I get that a lot. By the way, that's season three. She was in that. She was in the fire episode. I and guess then, I saw that. She was in the you know who else had that? Was uh, what's her face from uh, That's cool. female comedian, uh, blonde, very popular train spot, tra 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 train wreck. What is her name? Amy train Schumer. Spot, train train wreck. Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Oh. She was like an extra in like four different episodes of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Well, oh, yeah. she played like a she played like a clerk at a bagel stop. Brandon Ralph. AK Superman, Superman Returns, yeah. Legend of Tomorrow. You're talking about the Superman who deflected a bullet with, with his eyes. Eye. Eye. Yes, that's what you're Absolutely. talking about. Absolutely. Eyeball deflection. I wanted to, because I, I obviously through like CW you get to meet and hang And I was, I really liked his performance in Superman Returns. Mm -hmm. I thought he was great. He was super great. great. He was fine. But um, he was an, an, uh, the background or the main love interest in Christina Aguilera's What a Girl Wants. 
Oh, really? So when it's like, <laughs> what the hell wants? It's really? Brandon Ralph just, awesome. just sitting there at the awesome. bleachers. That's the only one Superman. Right? Future Superman. Or yeah. Atom. He was just Clark Kent. Or one of the uh, evil exes. In Scott well. Pilgrim, yeah. yeah, yeah, he was in but, uh, Zach and Mary making porn. I, I was, was great in that. the scene was, you know, the blind date and the yeah baby and all of that. So <clears throat> the the God, extras that's, agency that's might be the cringiest moment in the whole of the British Office. It definitely was in the Christmas special. Yeah, but they said there was the, they didn't want people to know they were doing the office <laughs> for whatever reasons. And I remember the agent because I had a, a, an extras agent said, "All right, uh, we booked you in. You're doing a shoot tomorrow." Um, Dress like you're from Slough, <laughs> and I knew straight away. I was like, "It's the office, of course." It's the fucking office. Why would they say Slough? Dress like you're um, from Slough, and um, or like an Ali G sequel or something like that. Oh, oh, yeah, exactly. And then I went, and I remember the first one of the first directors at Eighties or whatever was like, "You come here." They put me front row and center. So anytime it cut to the audience, I was the middle of the audience in the front row. And I was like, as an extra, I was like, yeah, screen time. I'm going to be big time in Hollywood after yeah, this. And then you were. And then some fucker went, you, you out. Because I was so big. I was only 17, oh, but I was still 6'4". He went, you out. And they stuck me in the back. You can't see me. Oh. Damn. And I watched the whole thing from the back of the, back of the crowd. <sighs> we should take you out of this podcast. That's like, I'm in like five <laughs> scenes. <laughs> that, so that, sorry, that, 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 Mike. Can you yeah. PT. Doing jumping jacks. You can't see me. And what? Oh, oh, yeah, was, uh, yeah. When I was in basic training in the army, there was you a, in the army. Yeah, for five years. Um, Big fan right here, this guy. <laughs> yeah, long time ago. <laughs> he Nin- shot, he 1990, shot a he was a young lad. 1993 to 1998, I was in the army. I was a journalist. <laughs> no one in front house was in the army. No, they no? weren't. They were all a bunch of cowards. No. And uh, <laughs> well, anti-American Adam communist hurt cowards. His leg doing CrossFit. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, while I was in basic training, they filmed the movie uh, Renaissance Man, starring Mark Wahlberg and Danny DeVito, mm. and. Uh, <laughs> I was an extra in that movie because they just happened to be filming it on the military base, which just meant I had to get up at three in the morning and do PT, do jumping jacks and sit-ups and push-ups. I'm glad you said jumping jacks because I was like, Guillermo de Toro, Hedema, there he is, he's done, man. (laughs) And and you can't see, and it was 10 degrees outside and we had to wear shorts because they were wearing shorts. And then every time they would yell cut, they would bring blankets and cover them and like walk up a space heater. And I was just like this. Was this in Austin? No, it was in Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Is that where yeah, you were based? That's where I was in, based in, yeah, based training. Holy shit. And you can't see me in any shot. I've, I've poured over that movie. Yeah, you, there's got to be at least two minutes. You know. Does your army training make you better at Gears of War or Call of Duty? Michael says no. no. It has no, it has no video game translation. I was like, on, the, on the flip side of that, driving, like I used to do like Daytona USA at the arcade. I think that made me a better driver in real life. Absolutely not. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you're... Uh, yeah, you're picking me up tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I will be the judge of that. All right, I got the new car. We're gonna right. go. We're gonna go a quarter mile. So, but you know, I Why live my life one quarter mile at a time. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm getting a massage. Jack, come on. <laughs> here's, here's our plan. Video I, got, I made plans three weeks, three weeks ago, and then today. It's true. It's yeah. true. And here's our plan. By the way, we t- we steal him for our movie. Yeah, because. Because Jack's like probably he's he's gonna he's gonna be so he's relaxed to fall asleep. Rooster T from you know you guys are doing well like the doing channel. Okay. Doing okay. You're doing okay. Doing okay. I reckon we I mean, can probably get a masseuse in here right now. We oh. used to have a oh, masseuse. He's, he's getting the Lego done. Yeah. Yeah. Get the masseuse. You're talking about guy building Legos. We used to have a, a weekly masseuse. What was her name? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't working. I wasn't here for her. You met her, right? Nancy. Nancy. It was Nancy. Nancy. She gave me some rubs. Yeah. What? He flew in for an American rub job. I was like, you guys get rubbed at work? This is wicked. Hey, did you know that this episode of Off Topic... Stop calling it rub. <laughs> she, was, she was rubbing him good. But if you want a stomach rub, let me... Is that, is that a toilet break? That's, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to piss my pants. Yeah, go for it. You oh, sweet. With him. I'll stay here, Michael. Clinton. Jack. I'm going to keep working on the Lego, Michael. You keep working on the Lego. I'll work on this, uh, this wonderful sponsor, Blue Apron. Thank you for sponsoring this episode of Off Topic. Because it's brought to you by you, Blue Apron. Blue Apron is teaming up with the best-selling cookbook author Chrissy Teigen to bring you some of her favorite recipes to make at home. Get ready for six weeks of wildly fun, flavorful cooking featuring recipes like garlic and soy glazed shrimp with charred broccoli and hot green pepper sauce and sesame chicken noodles with bok choy. Blue Apron offers 12 new recipes each week and customers can pick two, three, or four recipes based on what best fits their schedule. Blue Apron sends only non-GMO ingredients and meat with no added hormones. They deliver fresh, 
pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes that can be cooked in under 45 minutes right to your door. The menu changes every week based on what's in season and is designed by Blue Apron's in-house culinary team. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash off topic. That's blueapron.com slash off topic. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. I actually had one of those meals yesterday. Oh yeah, what'd you it's, have? Uh, it was some kind of salad with um, like fried, the, the noodles were like baked. Hmm. So I can't, I can't remember what kind of, it was like some kind of udon noodles or something, but they were like crispy. Ooh. So it was uh, kind of like, you know, when you get the uh, the Asian noodles in a bag. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, where they're yeah, like yeah. crunchy. It was like that. It was like, I can't remember exactly what kind of noodle it was, but they were like crunchy, salty noodles. Hmm. And they were uh, uh, to be draped on top of the uh, chicken-based salad, Ooh. which was very good. It was, mm, uh, it was a good meal. Chicken-based salad. Yeah. That's exciting. Man, I'm really hot right now. Yeah, no, you and These lights don't put out heat, I mean, so. it's 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 a little warm. It's not like maybe go outside I get, warm. I need to get my hair cut. I think maybe having a hat on and all my hair is pushing into my head is making the top of my body That'll happen. hot. That'll and definitely I'm just happen. Retaining all the heat. I mean, like it's 91 degrees outside. It's nowhere yeah. fucking near that hot in here. Man. In here is maybe like 74. It's a little warm. A little warm. Yeah. Man, I went to uh, Disneyland last weekend. That was fun. I've been to Disneyland. In mm. over like 25 years or something like that, like Disneyland in California and sure, Anaheim, not Disney World. Yeah, Disney World. I've, I've, I'm, you know, well known there. They, you, they can't keep you out. No, no. They're like, get the fuck Jack out. I'm like, leave. nope. And you go, nope. I need nope. more. Where's the movie was, ride? I'm was, gonna protest. Was Disney? Which, which one was it? Maybe it was Universal. You'll die if you don't drink from the I, fountain of Disney. I think it was like Universal. Year, right? yeah, <laughs> That's absolutely. true. Jack will drop dead. What was the one where you had the old? You had your old employee card. Uh, that was I uh, saw that. Recently. Oh no! I, yeah, I had, I had an annual pass from Universal Studios that I got there <laughs> when, like, I, when I worked at Disney. Would this still work? It and was, they replied to you, and they're like, "I don't think yeah, so." Yeah, like, "Oh, you can get a new one." It's like <laughs> that was an easy PR layup. I'm not, not like I'm going to go to Orlando. How like, dare they? Yeah, it's like no, yeah, whatever. Uh, Jack handed it to them. And I was like, nothing. "Here you go, here you God, go." My parents. I so, turned into my parents. No, uh, no, you're Jeff. Uh oh. So, Is anybody Millie, out there to let Rahul Millie, back in? By the way. Yeah. No. <laughs> he, he, him, he said he'd be there in a sec. Well, How's it gonna get in, asshole? You locked him out. Seven hundred people working. That's someone be coming in. That's, I'll go get him. That's Thank you. He's not ready to come in now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> anyway, well, okay. What, what's up, Jeff? Millie's making some stuff for her mom. Uh huh. Oh my god, I almost threw up again. <laughs> Millie's making some stuff for her mom, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm eating because I'm starving, and I realized we didn't do anything for lunch today. So I did. We had fat breakfast, Jeff. We had clutchy breakfast. Yeah, it was like 117 like years ago. Um. Oh, but she's, oh. she's doing some stuff for her mom and her mom's paying her and she's like, I just found out my mom's paying me more than I thought. And I was like, good. She's like, I'm going to go on the biggest shopping spree. And I responded, or save it. <laughs> and I was serious. Wow. And I, I just realized. I feel like Americans weren't taught to save at school. I've been telling you to save ever since the day I met you. I've always saved. You told me to do retirement. Which yeah, that's saving. You should absolutely yeah. do retirement. But I would just save. I would just not spend. Oh, I still don't. Millie doesn't know, but I've already done her retirement. Well, don't tell her that. Well, I'm not telling her. She doesn't watch our content. She has no idea. It's true. I took it. The first thing I Griffin and I did such a good job of taking care of Millie's future with college and retirement stuff that the retirement. Slowly. My financial advisor. I'm kidding. My financial advisor said, uh, "I'm missing stop. one piece. Worry about you. You also have to retire." <laughs> I'm like, "No, no, no. I want to make sure she's but okay." Can you then? You can. You can spend all that if you wanted to. What, right? Millie's money? Yeah. I would never do that. <laughs> but yes, he could. He absolutely could. Heavy night at the strip club. How much for you to swallow the, the tiniest piece of Lego? I mean, I would swallow it because I'm not scared to swallow it, but Jack might need it for the thing. Actually, that? that might be a spare. Yeah. Because it would come out whole. You could find it. I don't think that would get well, a lot. What would I get for that? that? Well, I'm asking you. How much do you want for it? $1,000. Come on, I was thinking don't like... Don't fucking... Why'd you throw it? <laughs> Why would you throw it, Gavin? I was thinking like 20 or something. I'm missing a black piece $100, of $100. Hold on, Damn it. I'll give you 50 bucks to swallow it. I'm gonna have to dig through this and find 50. the one. Yeah, I don't want to swallow it. Well, I don't want to swallow plastic either, I but I will barely... for content. <laughs> Is that dangerous? Will it get stuck in there? Probably. Millie's responded with no. <laughs> for the saving it. <laughs> so she's not going to? No. Okay. Yeah, she will. She's smart. I miss Millie. It's the saddest thing about our friendship ending and falling apart. And not living together. Our it's, friendship is fine. No. Is it? Well, it is now that I'm 30. Yeah. It was it's rough. just that you you and I are now. I was. Then just going back to the, the cooking with Jeff and Gap thing that people are always like, when are oh, you yeah, going to make that? This is the first time I have seen you 
since we were in Santa Fe filming yeah. The Weird Place. But that was the first time I had seen you in probably three weeks. And this so, will be the last time you see me. And this is the last time I see you. I'll be here for a bit. I'm good now. I don't know. Who, why, why do you, what makes you think I will? Oh, well... You know, this is the, this. I don't know that I'll see you again. Are you here next week? Yeah. Well, maybe no, I'll Michael. He's done. He's done. Michael's I'm the here. quickest shitter I've ever seen. Yeah. That was amazing. You didn't yeah. shit in that time. Well, I shit through my dick. I'm here for two days next week. Hey, let's film a, a cooking with Jeff and Gav thing. Get let's out do it. Let's do it, do it, do it next it. week. All right. Actually, you should make that a uh, like a stretch. But Bella wants to film it. He wants. Are to we doing it. the thing? That's what's a lot the, of work. What's the thing? I don't know that we are. We just need someone to do the thing early, and then we go and do the thing. Yeah. Obviously, you cook. God, no, no him no. Beans uh, on toast? No, he didn't do shit. I, I could go out pasta and stuff, it's easy. Yeah. I don't, pasta. I don't, don't want to piss say. about yeah. pasta. 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 Let's get all that pasta. That pasta I don't want to use more than one pot in one bowl. I don't yeah, want to do forbid. cereal. Well, you don't even need a pot for cereal. You just put it in the bowl. Oh, I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're holding these heated milk. <laughs> People would put warm milk in cereal. It's disgusting. Oh. They need to fuck the them. Fuck yeah. <laughs> also, also, they can die. Also, yeah, no, I'm with you there. A little harsh, but I'm with you there. Also, also, there are people that put milk in first. I was gonna say that, my wife does that. She oh. puts milk in, then cereal, and I don't- What? Yeah. How do you And you do, still got married. Do Did you know this before or after you got married? What's the point? What's the idiot point? Because it all floats no on top, sense. and you mash it down I'm not even spoon. gonna try and argue it, because there is- You put the cereal in, you put the milk in, and it floats the cereal, and you go, okay, that's enough milk, and then you fucking eat it. That should be like the interest yeah. exam to college. If you put milk in first, they should be like, yeah, it's here, uh, here's a wrench. She's a college so you're graduate. A mechanic. She's got two when degrees. You make, when you make tea, yeah. do you put the milk in before or after? After what? The tea bag? Yeah. After. So you don't put your milk in and then the tea bag and the milk, like, you don't put milk in no. first. Cool. Because there are fuckers that do that. No, you do. And they can also bag tea. <laughs> go and die. They go and die sugar. somewhere. Well, you're just scalding the milk with hot water. It's bad for it. I don't know what he's talking about there. He's punishing. But milk I will for say, some just I, I need the ratio to know how much tea I'm working with before I put the milk in. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't also, really care about people, scalding the milk. The people, tea is more important than the milk in that thing. In I, that situation. I even want yes. to. I will leave the tea bag in after the milk's gone in to to sort of do some finalizations on the color. This is the color you want. But do you? <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not no, even fucking That's a good color. This is no, a good, no, no, the, the green. The yeah. green's throwing yeah. it off. Yeah. Your skin color. My skin color. You want like a nice cream looking color. You're too milky. You're too much milk. You put too much fucking leave the bag in. More tea. <laughs> I would leave the bag in for that. Meg likes this with her coffee. No, she tells so, you. What? She so tells Meg you. Likes, she does, that's a latte. Meg likes seventy percent milk. That's a that's a vanilla got, latte. Meg mocha. has a French Meg. vanilla creamer. I've got to get it to this. Meg has settled like, for that. That's not what she wants. <laughs> trust me. Yeah, that's true. She's we all know that. that's not what Meg wants. That's what she's oh, allowed the logo, herself. Jack. The logo. Now I got to make the thing that connects it all. String? Yes, so, I had but, to make the but, string out of but, Lego. Here's the question, you, you leave the tea bag in a little longer to like uh, make it a little stronger, darken it up a little. You take it out before you drink it. Oh, yeah. Well, you, gotta, you gotta take the tea bag out. There are some well, people a, that drink well, with the tea bag in. that's an American thing, where you just leave it in. I, didn't I know how to leave it in with green tea. But they leave it in. I didn't know people put milk in tea. Uh, black uh, tea, yeah. yeah. I don't see color tea, personally. Yeah. <laughs> Progressive. I like like lemon tea. Lemon's good. Which is like to me, that's like regular. Look, there's lemon only, tea. Yeah, like iced tea. There shouldn't it's even be tea. options. It's lemon tea. flavor. Tea should just be like a cup. Of PG tea. tips. It shouldn't even be other bags. Don't even start what with about tea. Nah, fuck off me. T uh, PG tips abused chimpanzees for years. What are they saying? Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, also chips don't drink tea. What do they know? Oh, you guys your cocoa guide other. today. Yeah, Coco, the the the, 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 sign, the sign, no, no, the sign language, sign language gorilla, like gorilla. Yeah, the one Amy, that had the kittens like, and stuff. Like Amy won raindrop. Yeah, except yeah. the real one. I saw that. Not a horrible costume. Of what? Uh, I think old age. She was like oh. sixty or something. She was old. Is so, that old for a gorilla? I imagine so. I have no reference. Yeah, uh, to animal age. Yeah. Most of the times you hear about a gorilla dying, it's because someone shot it. Harambe, rest in peace. Yeah, I mean, that's just like, gorilla went nuts and we shot it. Well, that's, that's the ones you hear about. You don't hear about a gorilla dying of old age in the jungle. No one reports it. Well, that's why I just said you don't hear about you think they have, like, it. But that's not the majority of gorilla They have like, they have, like gorilla I mean, news. that's the majority of gorilla um, anchors. Uh, newsworthy talking about a gorilla died is like... Well, it's oh. because in the news. 
I know. So that, again, that's what I'm comparing it oh, to. Oh, is that what the makes news. it newsworthy? If it's in the news? It was newsworthy no that, news. that Jack's talking you about. You know that there's not jungle news. Died. Monkey news. Yeah, that's. I'm bringing up the news because he was like, do you hear the news that so-and-so died? If there's monkey business, why can't there be monkey Am news? Am I the only one that got that reference? Yeah. Yeah, oh. absolutely. That's 100%. how most of the stuff goes, except usually you're not here, and I'll say it. And it'll, it'll, it'll he waits, he waits for the news. audience. And the audience news. will be like. They'll be like two assholes that will be like, and it'll keep him going. Chimpanzee that. Yeah, it's sick. It's sickening. Six years of this. You get time. You, 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 you're lucky. Six years? Yeah, you're going for a hell of a lot longer. That's Wait, how your long, fault, how long has, you hired him. How I long had to work with Hunter, the bright, like, how long has... Achievement Hunter is uh, 10 Hunter turns years 10. next month. Rooster Teeth 10 shit's, next month. This yep. piece of shit's been around Rooster Teeth is 15. I met him oh, in 2005. Here's how long we've known Gavin. Yeah. We, Bernie and Gus and I... Actually, I don't know if Gus was there. Bernie and maybe Dan and Matt and I called... Gavin to wish him a happy 15th birthday. Hey, oh, this Fuck piece off. of shit's 30 now. But why like, did you wish him specifically a 15th birthday? He was birthday? our you not I, 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 this this isn't a joke. This <laughs> isn't a joke. <laughs> he was our biggest fan. He was the hottest fan. Really? He was yeah. the hottest underage. So you hold on. So you are what I am to Funhouse. You're just a fanboy. I am the biggest your way. teeth fan you'll ever meet. Yeah, here, check this out. Gavin, why 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 did you start solo guys? So I could work at Rooster Teeth. It was to get a visa. To get a visa. I, could, I didn't qualify for an O1 visa, so I was like, quick, I'll get one of them. <laughs> That's like Elon Musk going, why did you start Tesla? So, so I, I can meet, so meet Jack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I think you did it's all like right. He's, it's like he's like, in my dreams right I'm now. It's weird. That that it's... By the way. Ooh, I'm waiting on it. You, look at you on James Corden. I know, it's on the James Corden show. You used yeah. the flamethrower, right? Remember you on the James Corden show? I, I played so, a clip. So like. the the, uh, the boring company had like their flamethrower pickup thing, and yeah. I was in LA for E3, and my buddy got one. He's like, hey, do you want to be my plus one? I was like, yeah, sure. So we go, and uh, we're, you know, we go, and like, they, like once you get through, and like they check and make sure you're who you are. They had a, they had a mariachi band there playing. You got and, in. Yeah, yeah, I got in. So, <laughs> well, as very, a, hang on, hang on. He got in as a plus one. Yeah, I was a plus one, but hey, I'm, I'm working my way in. Anyway, so, uh, but then they had like a demo station where they like teach you how to use one and like anyone could do it. So they had like a boring company logo and they had marshmallows they put on sticks and let you just use a flamethrower oh, on them. Yeah. And so I was like, shit, okay. So my buddy filmed it for me. Filmed it There's Jack. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So they, he filmed it for me on my camera. And then I just put it and I clipped it together, put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. And then like uh, like the next day, BBC reached out to me, CNBC reached out to me, a bunch of other like kind of news organizations. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, can we use your clip on our episodes? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And then a couple days later, someone tweeted me like, hey, you were just on the like, James Corden show. And I was like, what? And they sent me a link. And I was like, oh, there I am. And I was like, that's pretty fucking weird. It was like he was talking about like, oh, Elon Musk gave away flamethrowers. Well, look at this. And it was my clip. Look at this and then guy. And it was like, huh. I like that too. Achievement Hunter has independently <laughs> been on the Late Late Show now. Yeah, yeah. So, wait, Very, you were on it. I was on it too for slow-mo. Double slow -mo times, twice, right? Oh, yeah. I think I saw your social media post about it. Or a link. It, it, to yeah. be fair, I wouldn't compare Jack being on yeah. it and you being on it. Mine was well, a I mean, sheer coincidence. Still on it. Like that time like we they were... showed a clip of Jack and then they invited you it's on It's like that time show. we were on That's the Daily it. Show <laughs> because Ryan there. was like, isn't that our World of oh, Warcraft yeah. footage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I met James Corden. Let's play. I met James Corden in a green room in Vegas. For iHeart Radio Concert or mm -hmm. something, iHeart. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. it was on the CW that year. So, the American so, radio app. Yeah. yeah. So so they had like, see, they asked us, hey, if you come from filming, just come and hang out at the concert. So I spoke to, to, to James for 30 minutes and we bonded like me and Gavin over British stuff, but he, didn't, not, he didn't ask me to come on his show. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say not, Gavin and I? Yes. Gavin's not going to ask Me and either, Gavin. I got, so that, I got that from Jeff. Gavin's not going to ask I like you. You don't hear me say that. Either. Fuck so James Gavin, Corden. you've been a you've been a fan <laughs> of Rooster Teeth for over half your life, then. Sickening. Yeah, this James, is your start. You out. wished him a happy fifteenth birthday. Yeah, when he turned fifteen, he was terrified. It was a happy problems. birthday. I was and like, hey guys, never spoken to him. The thing that was before. phenomenal about Gavin was he lived in England, right? Time difference, whole thing. We would put up a T-shirt or a DVD for sale, and somehow Gus and I would sit there when we knew because it was such a thing. We would put it up, we would try to vary the time of day we would put it up to sell. Yeah. Somehow, no matter when, in a 24-hour cycle we put it up, without any warning, Gavin would be the first person to buy it. Wait! This is why How I did you know it was Gavin? What was his login name? It's my name. Gavin. 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 Gavino. 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 Yeah. But I'd see that, but I'd, I, I ran the store, so I'd see the orders come through, I'd be like, first order, Ga Gavin Free. I know that I was, the first, I was the first sponsor during season three. Sponsorship yeah, you used to be seasonal. Yeah, it was seasonal. So, so that's why you weren't at clubs and we could have hung out. Yeah. Yes, because you were yeah. waiting for fucking Rooster Teeth merch. I was just, to go. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, uh huh. He, he was, was he was busy getting, jacking off to Caboose. He was, he was getting beat up and then going home and jerking it to Caboose, and, uh, <laughs> buying all the merch. You know, I feel like it never got too weird though. 
And he was like, someday I'm going to be Jeff's friend. Yeah, and he did it. Live with him, save his penis a bunch. You certainly, you saw certainly your, my You saw your penis. Mm -hmm. I guess that's standard employee. A bunch of times. You haven't, that seen my dick. you haven't seen more, my dick more than maybe my first wife. He had the up close, like certainly the last three years. Grab so. your leg, dick your dick. I, in his I'm not. Face. I'm not be funny. I think it hit my eyelashes. Yeah, on the way down. It was a well, that was the time that it hit Kara on the head. Right? No, it hit me on the head. She, oh, was there. No, she was there. You didn't hit her with your penis. She was just there. Wait, uh, Jeff and I were celebrating something. I can't remember what it was. It was Ten years. It's Peggle. It was Peggle. a Peggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ran up to him. I gave him like a jump hug, like both arms, both legs wrapping around him, and he was like, "Yeah," with his arms up, and I just slid down and I pulled down <laughs> his trousers and his pants, and his penis sort of hit the elastic and went. And like came down right by my head, and I landed on is my arm. in his living room, and I'm just hugging his over. clothes. Is this before or after you got the job? After. Well, were you still? Is, were you still fifteen? That was when he got. That was when he got the bonus. This is when That's he, why you wished yeah. him a fucking happy this birthday. This was him keeping the job. Yeah. After he got here, he was like, "All right, let's see if we're gonna renew your visa. <laughs> Are you gonna take care of this big guy or what?" Yeah. And then Gavin, you know, that was a good time. Gurkle. Yeah, that was. That was when you lived together. That was when we lived together. Yeah. You're killing it, Jack. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby went from come being... Come fucking, ugh. come round to mine and finish the fucking Gabby ball. Gabby went from being... I already, I already did that once, step man. Step seven. 15-year-old fan watching from England to having Jeff's dick flop into your face in America. And his finger going in my asshole sometimes. To yeah. having me wake him up at four oh, in the morning five. to throw him a motorcycle in his I didn't... <laughs> I'm just saying I didn't fly to Austin just to be on a podcast. Fair, Fair enough. Yeah. Fair or enough. or yeah. to get Wait. finger. I had nimble fingers. Because, you know, Jeff Jeff gets antsy. They start going places. And we broke that bike before we could do anything good with it. We never oh, rode you're it because we the... broke it immediately. He, he pulled it to the string came You off. brought it to the office and then it broke. And I think yeah. it broke on camera and we had it as the... Yeah. It was yeah. in the parking yeah. lot. It was like, yeah. alright, let's do this. It was, it was like, broken. like watch... <laughs> it was one of our promo videos, right? It was one of our, like, stay tuned for it's more shit. It's still under the house. Were you aware that the other day we were on the front page of Reddit twice the same, same day. time? Uh -huh. The shit we'd done years ago. Yeah, it was, it was uh, the Roomba knife fight. Put that beer. Yeah, it was yeah happy hour number one. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed then, to. Uh, the Skyrim. Skyrim. The that's a good pull. Cabbage. cabbage. That's, that's a good pull. Cabbage. Cabbage. Trick shot. Between us, we've been on the front page of Reddit a lot of times. Yeah, but together twice the on the same yeah. day. That was weird for was, videos was that were both like oh. six, five, yeah, yeah. six years the old. The second I saw that, I was like, Gavin needs to stop posting this. And he's like, Dig this down, look what I found from Gavin Free. It when Elder Scrolls look at that pull. It's a much better pull. When Elder Scrolls That's comes great. out. That's a good pull. You want that much Fuck phone. you, Gavin. They said you can't pull. No, he can't. He can't. Look at this. That's you've been drinking that. That's not a pour. Yeah, you've been drinking that. What? Shut Fucking up. got you. This is beautiful because you need some foam because it it makes it. Yeah. That's yeah. Like the selling point. You want is some. Is it Django Unchained where he had the thing with the and you scrape the and it makes the perfect mm. head? I think thing. so. I don't know. I'm just going to say yes. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do it? I saw Guinness that movie. Yes. Where you got to leave it for a you bit? You got to leave it for a bit. Guinness is my, I, I, that's the only thing I drink really. Really? Yeah. I love Guinness. It's like a meal. And, but you got to wait for it. You got to chew like, through it. So don't leave it. And then, and then you're just staring. You're at the bar and it's like, I'll be mine soon. But you're just staring at your <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll serve three other people before yeah, your drink. Because you got to right? wait for the Guinness to serve. My missus is Irish and <clears throat> proud. And her father tells me, and I think it's true, that they give you Guinness in the hospital. Because it's got iron in it, so you'll get if you're in the hospital, the hospital in Ireland, you get a pint of Guinness. Have you noticed the difference in the Guinness you get in Ireland from the Guinness you get everywhere else? Last time I was in Ireland, I was seven, and I can't remember the uh, Guinness I had. A Guinness in Ireland. I definitely had Guinness. I remember. It's it's just really tasty. It's like something extra in it. In it's Ireland, like that moon ball that bounced a little bit extra today. Yeah. Were you around for that? I don't know. I'm afraid I found a moon ball that had like. A third extra bounce. You think it's, it's like you think that moon ball's Irish? Irish. I do. Clarify that. <laughs> moon ball was from Ireland. It was about a third extra bounce. Well, I, well, I dropped them like this. So one of them came up. What's your What's your off. drink of choice? Uh, like a Peroni. Okay. Like yeah, a yeah, yeah. Crisp Peroni. Yeah. It's Dude, a tiny I'll bit. say the two times I've been there, Germany, it's just all great. Every beer they ever hand you. You've been to Germany. Yeah. You're yeah. a good beer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were there. We were in. I was in Berlin. Achievement Hunter went to yeah. Berlin. That yeah. was cool. Was it for a convention? Road trip. No, it wasn't a convention. It was just like a. Just go for a week and film stuff. Was it Terra? Terra was, was the, the game. Shit. Yeah, a video game company reached That's out to us. We played the game for oh, one day, yeah, and then we filmed a shitload of it. It was like for a game, but we got like a couple days. I there. was trying to convince you to swim across the you, the river. Almost got, like, almost got Michael to jump in the water. I almost did it. It was just a matter of having dry clothes when I was done. I didn't care about the filth I was swimming. You didn't care about the legality or. None of that. It was cold. just I was like, concerned I of like I'm gonna be wet for the next six hours. And, and then we just like, ah. 
We discussed at length whether we were going to go into the bar where you couldn't wear trousers. Yeah, it was, it was like no, yeah. cat club. Bar. Yeah, so we're like, we're, what? we're in Berlin. We came out of nowhere. We're in that. Berlin and we're like, hey, I wouldn't like, I've, I've never been in Germany before. Let's go to a German discotheque. Because you always hear like German discotheque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck it, let's go. And these guys, like the developers we were with, they were like, oh, well, there's this one place you can go, but you got to take your pants off to get in. It's like this crazy thing. And we're all like, uh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Sure, whatever. And they were like, wait, wait, what? Like thinking that would have been Jeff, it. And it was like, I was yeah, like, yeah, called like, Griffin. Let's go. You called your wife at the time and being like, hey, can I go to this pants bar off. and take my pants off? And she was like, I don't give a shit. Don't call me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, I don't fucking go for it. I don't fucking care. I don't care. Why are you calling me? And I thought, that's a marriage that'll last. Yeah. <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't think that. At the time, I probably did. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you didn't because you were saying it since the day I got hired. Uh, yeah. So it was after that. Uh, I just then, don't believe in myself. And then, no, and you shouldn't, as, yeah. as time has proven. I've, um, I've, I've met me. And then I was there again you and almost the, two years ago Lindsay for, for uh, me, Lindsay, Barbara, and Chelsea went for Konichi, which was got a, a nice glass. Um, got a nice glass. That's, that's this glass right here. That I bought, brought it back, and then Gavin shattered it almost immediately on this very nice show. Show. For a video? No, no he was... punched a pumpkin. It was for Halloween. He punched a pumpkin, and the person holding it wasn't holding it. The person it very was well. Ryan, and he sucked it was at Ryan, holding pumpkins. It flew across the table, knocked this glass out of my hands, and uh, <laughs> uh, a couple of uh, lovely community members were nice well, enough to replace it. Well, that's all right. As long as it's not like a signed, framed a it's, zombie it was poster. From... No. You know, as long as <laughs> yeah. you don't, no. like, as long as you treat that with fucking respect, yeah, yeah. then we I don't never, really give we a never fuck. Do anything. And I have two things Who did trip. that, by the way? Well, it's been fucking Ryan, many I times. heard it was Ryan got it a bunch of times. Ryan got it a bunch of times. As well, isn't he? Um, that that poster has been thrashed and just fucked up left and right. I'm, I keep there. I keep hanging it to back. Be fair, up. You hang you hung it in the worst place. It's yeah. where everyone sees but, it, and it's like everything. Well, everyone's got to see it. You I'm coming here it. to Austin. Yeah, with London beef. <laughs> oh, this is and only clip. Gavin's worried about it. Well, I am. I'm very he knows. Oh, this yeah, yeah. is the clip of of uh, oh, the Gavin glass and show. Ryan breaking. Oh, it's the other way around. It was I, I'm bad at holding. Ryan punched <laughs> it. I like how you blamed Ryan. Michael, you are the cutest thing I've ever seen. What are you wearing? I'm dressed as an Aquabat. It's a band. Oh shit! Um, but the, so that me jumping back was they just smashed this glass and I'm like, oh I'll, yeah, it I was, was like, me. I'll, also it was the first, <laughs> it was the first four minutes of the episode and I'm screaming that I'm gonna beat him to death. I, I said at one point I'm going to beat you to death in an Aquabats album. I hope that your glass doesn't well break today. No, it doesn't. I did the but they replaced it. Uh, a lovely community member replaced might. it. So I got, so I bought two things from Castle. I got this glass and I bought a miniature statue of Hercules, here known as Hercules, uh, and his dicks out. And it's at my house. I'm amazed like that you big. didn't rehang the eye zombie because it's literally it's been up in our office. I've for, hung it so many times for like three years. I told you know? Warner Brothers. Since, since I, told, I, I told Warner Brothers. We had a big chat about PR. They were like, mm. "Shut up! Stop talking! Stop telling! <laughs> I don't care!" Stop. But I, I said to them, "I was like, do you know who Rooster Teeth are?" And they're like, hmm? "I was like, yeah, dude, there is a like, there is like, you. Well. There is a poster <laughs> hung up in the frame of every shot for these achievements. Like these guys are fucking awesome." Um, and they never contacted. Yeah. I can't. I don't know the context of why I told them this, but I was. I, but, <laughs> you were drunk. But, but Rob Thomas, I sent him. Did you say it was Warner Brothers? Yeah. You should also tell them uh, it's the company that you you put their anime, their Western anime, in fucking Japan. Warner Brothers Japan runs Rubian. Oh really? Yeah, no shit. Right? It's yeah. a big stretch. They'll, just, they'll, they'll say stop talking. I just wanted them. Now, I just wanted yes. them to be aware of of, yeah. of your guys' yeah, you tell influence them that. on because because uh, for me. Again, it's all it's all very personal, but on my Twitter feed, I guess is is where I have the most interactions. The the tweets I get are usually I watch Achievement Hunter and I found I Zombie or Funhouse and I found I Zombie. But obviously with Funhouse, it's because I'm there. Yeah, they yeah. don't talk about your show. No, they couldn't give a fuck. Yeah, they hate it. They treat me. They're the girl that, like, at school, they're not interested. But I, still, um, uh, I asked Bruce That's the other why day. You're interested. You guys are because they're I'd not. Fuck, I asked, yeah, I asked yeah. Bruce the other day. We want to fuck you, and, and I'm like, like, it's too easy. Right. And Funhouse, you're like, I want you, and they're like, make me sick. That's exactly our relationship, yeah. and kind of funny. <laughs> on, they're the friend of the hot. You girl. just have Andy Cortez, and he's like, <laughs> I make one minute reviews, but they're like five minutes long, so it doesn't make any sense. But Rob Rob Thomas is a big fan because I so when I think you guys me on Twitter actually well, when you, when you guys ate brains we did for the we finale, did yeah, yeah. yeah. I doubled the, down the to make sure brains. he saw it and I sent it to him and he fucking he lost his shit he he loved it. so when was I was that I the met, pig brain video yeah, yeah. Griffin, I, I edited Griffin, that I had to censor she had to did the skull away. open she had the the, the the is it was it sheep skull sheep skull pig skull was it pig. 
It was. She cracked the head open. The cookie. I, it was so badass. <laughs> I because we not we've not done that. You know, ours is made of ours is made of Japanese gelatin. Is it agar uh, agar? And like we're all like, uh and they, us, and, they, and they give us spit buckets, and we go, and, and they, they they worry about us, and they mop our faces, and then you guys fucking ripped into a, a pig. It was, it was a weird was texture brutal. to eat brain, but it, it like besides you the, deep fried it, right? The, yeah. You're eating brain. It was pretty good, but there's absolutely a like, so, like as you're eating it, when, if you think about respect it, like it's it, chewy, yeah. and no I don't respect. think I'm gonna wake up and eat. A and it's brain. like you're eating a pig's thoughts. Yeah, right. yeah, and yeah. it's like oink oink, and then the, yeah, I kept thinking of the curly tail, but then that made me think of like it's weird that your tail's curly, but this is like a duck's penis. And Wait, was, all those thoughts. Do you eat my bacon? Mind. Jeff, you can eat, eat all bacon, of these. Yeah. Does that fork go for you? Ed? You can. You can. It's all the same, it's right? Well. No, I'm sure. But I'm sure. Well, no, because the the bacon part, the gut. Doesn't bacon doesn't contain. You, I reckon if you've yeah, eaten sausage, you've eaten pig brain. Bacon doesn't have pig opinions in it. Do you miss English bacon? British bacon. It's fat. I big, big and fat bacon. Big fat. Pink. I. But the thing is, I always liked the skinny, crispy ones you get here. I don't like. I. I. I no, I don't miss it. Is my point. I don't know why I'm going <laughs> Take around. Bacon should crunch. Shut up. Shove up That's your bad. ass. No, yeah. I, 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 like, I, I don't miss that one. I like one I, step below the crispiest. I'll tell you what I miss. Mm. Baked beans. Mm. I get them imported. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, so that's the only thing. I'll import baked beans and I'll import... Um, no, I don't eat brown sauce. My missus gets that imported. HP sauce. Not daddy's. She's got her own Not brown daddy's. sauce. Right here. HP. There you go. Zing. Yes. That's right. I miss English mustard. <laughs> Coleman's, you can get that here. I've had yeah. Coleman's. Pork pies. Pork pies. Oh. Fucking pork pie with a bit of mustard. Back, having you having a laugh? No, I miss Greg's. I'm getting Greg's. I'm, so I'm flying back to London on July 1st. So I'm doing Nando's because Portuguese food <laughs> is... <laughs> South, Af Nando's South American, African Portuguese, uh, Portuguese food is now typically British. Right. So I want to do a Nando's. I'm going to do a fish and chips. I'm going to do a McDonald's. It tastes different. Yeah, no, yeah. I've I've had a couple of different McDonald's. Yeah, it varies. British one, I like it for some reason oh, more yeah. than American one. I thought you might. That's, you know, that's fine. Mind. I understand. Best McDonald's yeah. is in Breda, Netherlands. Yeah. What? Do you, Do you remember that? that? Was I there? Australia you made good. us go. Australia? We landed in the yeah. Netherlands, and you, the first thing you did was well, we gotta get McDonald's. All day we've been eating like raw beef paste and like. But ev but the, I don't know if you remember, it was the nicest McDonald's, and everybody that worked there was like a supermodel. Yeah, it was like everybody was like blonde and gorgeous. <laughs> did, uh, wait, where were you? Netherlands. The Netherlands. Okay. Yeah. Did Nordja come with us? Nordja was before we met her. Oh, okay. Before it was immediately we landed and you were like, I'm hungry, <laughs> and I was like, Oh, there's Belgian waffles everywhere, and you're like, McDonald's. I remember the first I'm time one piece, and when we finally had the managed. Belgian waffle, you, you got the time him? wrong, no. and we had to abandon the Belgian waffle. He was holding a piece. I did fuck up. I don't I fuck mean, up often, but I really fucked up there. And I, don't know I feel like you don't you don't yeah, mess up the, a lot. You mess up all the time, but it's stuff that's not important. Yeah, that was the one time like, I dream where you were like, oh, that was kind of important thing. That you I was in, I was that was like, irresponsible. I was irresponsible. That, that, that and letting well, achievementhunter.com expire that one time. I was with you for that as well in London. Sure, you were like, you were just like hanging out in the hotel, and you're like, Gus, Gus, yeah. I remember the first time I ever flew internationally. I went to Australia. Was that That's first... a long first a long international one. flight. And like, I got in the airport, and one of the first pictures I ever took was it was a McDonald's, and it said brekkie. And I laughed. And went, yeah, they had brekkie. I went brekkie, and I took a picture of it. A bit of I was like, what? Gavin wasn't lying. Is it common? <laughs> I feel like it's commonplace in America to meet people who. Suck. Jesus, haven't <laughs> every suck. time. All right, that that's one... how you're supposed to do it. I don't know. And look, well, that's how you do it at the bar, but they clean it up. I will personally clean this. You no, can put it up. No. the floor now. I promise. I'll clean this by winging it. <laughs> that's how you get a good point. You got to spill the bit to let the head. Go. Do you really? The head. Yeah. I mean, Cheers. I'll be honest. If you Cheers, if you've bro. seen a commercial, Cheers. the head fills. Cheers. Cheers, Michael. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers, Jeff. Cheers, cheers Jeff. Jeff. The, head, the head fills perfectly and then slightly drips over. Yeah. That is, that's yeah. a commercial head. That's an enticing It runs beer. down the front. It's not like, oh, fuck, and then you throw it. That's a little too much. Has but. anyone here been in a Heineken commercial? Is the Heineken man? No. Wow. So don't, uh, don't worry about how I pull points. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Touché. Hey, did you know that this episode of Off Topic is also brought to you by Quip? The truth is, most of us are brushing our teeth wrong, not long enough, 
and we forget to change our brush on time. That's because most brands focus on selling flash gimmicks rather than better brushing, but not Quip. So what makes Quip different? For starters, Quip is an electric toothbrush that's a fraction of the cost of bulkier brushes while still packaging just the right amount of vibrations to help clean your teeth. Quip's built-in timer helps you clean for the dentist recommended two minutes with guiding pulses that remind you when to switch sides. Next, their subscription plans are for your health, not just convenience. They deliver new brush heads on a dentist recommended schedule every three months for just $5, including free shipping worldwide. Quip also comes with a mount that suctions right to your mirror and unsticks to use as a cover for hygienic travel wherever you take your teeth, which hopefully is with you at all times. Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash off topic right now, you'll get your first refill pack free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack for free at getquip.com slash off topic, spelled G E T Q U I P dot com slash off topic. Uh, brush your teeth. Yeah, you, you should do you fucking should do animal. That. All right. Now smash cut to Gavin because he's British and British people don't brush their teeth. Yeah. No, but Rahul's an actor, though, so he nah, you'd obviously... No, you I still don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow as fuck. Trying to help me out here. Jesus. Hey, look. Look at that. Look at that. Are you, are you done? done? Is it finished? It's all done. That's perfect timing. Look at that. By the way. Yeah. Look at Jack. Oh, look at what I got on your shirt. Oh, wow. And I'll put it there. Look. Achima. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even it's, know. Like the side is almost exactly. Like, put it side by like just slide it off. We're to gonna the side have there. a um. Oh, it's there you go. Oh wait, the scale. bay is in the way. Uh, 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 that's, that's a camera. That's where you you put your look at. Place. Yeah. <laughs> now that went everywhere. It sloshed both ways. It went over on one side, came back and went. Over. Hey, what did oh, I say about sorry. Heineken? Don't. That's how you yeah, drink no, a fucking beer. That there wasn't you go. so much as the you spill the hair. Look, the Heineken is ah, broken. It's still in the way. Well, we have the tissues on the wall. Sorry. sorry. I spill At least I didn't smash your German oh, glass. That's, that's true. true. That's true. That's true. You did. I got it. I got it. I got it. Um, one napkin. One napkin. There you go. Perfect. So we we started. I mean, fortunately, it was. It's five o'clock. Well, it was pre-taped, so fortunately, we didn't have to get here on time. But because of that, this is the end of our slot so the post why don't show, we always do it the post from now on because there's other shows here but it's way better well like the this uh, is better than noon i mean we don't have to do anything after i'm it. not arguing with you As, uh, to be fair when we do it at noon we also don't do things after well that's what just, i'm saying we could it's, it's, if we just, do three, it before, it's just three o'clock we start the shit at two run till five i'm not arguing i'm not arguing with you that's a good idea hey can we do we do that probably not because there's like shit after what happens after this usually death battle death, death battle, battle. Can we move that to never o'clock? Swap, swap, swap that to noon. The eight, right? Yeah, the eight people that watch that show are going to be very disappointed. Death no! Death well, hold on. Death, Death Battle is very popular. Death Battle does really well. Gets, I agree with you on I've most never, stuff. I've never watched it, so I don't just Death assume Battle it. Death Battle gets millions of views. It's way bigger than this show. It doesn't exist. It's way bigger than this show. Don't piss off Death Battle. We need them. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I love you, Chad. That's the flagship screw attack show. I feel like that should be noon. Death Ch battle? Chad's Gavin great, called though. it. You know, maybe if you were still creative director, you could do it. Chad oh. and Sam, they're great. What if you I made... almost just threw that beer on me? Like... I know my limits. I know physics. He knows. I don't he know what's knows Phi six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jeff's Boy, birthday is this we week. Should... No, yeah, Jeff's birthday is this week. Uh, Happy belated. Best, yeah, yeah. best comment. Happened, right? Best yeah. comment oh, yeah. I saw about Jeff's birthday, which I keep bringing it up, Jeff. <laughs> He turned 43 this week. <laughs> I saw a comment that said, oh my God, I can't believe Jeff's almost 50. <laughs> and I just keep bringing it up. It's so funny. Holy shit, me. he's nearly like, 50. That's a hell of a roundup. Well, like, I mean, you're 50. He's certainly closer to 50 than zero, but yeah. I mean, what other qualifiers? I mean, at this point, Jeff is closer to 60 than he is to 20, so I mean. Yeah. Oh my God, you're almost 50. For, for really, you are closer dead. to 80 than you are to being born. Sure. Right, well, let's, uh, I'm probably close to being halfway through with my life. On we that should note, probably wrap up so we yeah, don't have we time go. for the post show. Oh, that we're, soon, already, right? we're two minutes. I gotta go prepare here. for my massage. Uh, Jack's gotta go get. Oh, hey, massage. religion and politics. Jack, uh, come come Let's back. Let's get into it. Come back last. No, week. but religion Michael, and politics. So what's, your, what's your thoughts on the Second Amendment? Oh, here's here's what I think about that. Right? <laughs> Ready? Just <laughs> full commitment on this on the sip there. Go nuts. Hey, uh, Rolo, thanks for joining us. This is a post show. Children in cages. After yeah. Five? We should do like we a 45 second post show. <laughs> thanks for watching this week. Be we sure to check it out. Rahul on iZombie season five, final James season Bond. premiering. Is that next year? I assume 2019. Yes, next year. 2019. Mm -hmm. Also, you just did a, you did a Netflix movie, right? Recently. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs>
Check it out. <laughs> it's Find up there. Basically, I'm going to roll with a hard sell. Don't go looking for it. Yeah. Hey, like, hey, whatever. Whatever. Let, me, time let me ask you a question. Go ahead. If, are we good enough? Are we tied enough now? Especially now that you've been to our office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, 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 the portion of our office we've chosen to show you. Uh, if we made a Rooster Teeth movie, would you be in it? 100%. All right, great. Hey, 100%. what about a Team Hunter movie? 100%. Well. <laughs> let's, see how the, let's see how the post show goes. Any okay. Rooster Teeth movie I make is an achievement. What if, movie what if it's movies. a Rooster Teeth movie, though, where he plays James Bond? Well, yeah. Obviously. What if he plays Timothy Dalton Shut as James Bond? No, Shut I want to do Asian Sean Connery. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tune in next week when we'll have Money, Asian Sean Connery on the show. Uh, thanks for watching. With wigs and tape. We love you. Unless you didn't watch. Children in, in cages. Case, fuck off. <laughs>